redemption the same way. It repented and was baptized in water in it by Noah. Jesus come and sanctified it by dripping his blood upon it and claimed it. And in the new earth that's to come, it's to have a holy fire baptism to clean it of every devil, every germ, every sickness, everything that there is, and make it anew. I saw a new heaven and a new earth. You become a new person. Amen. Amen. Not just an old one patched up by joining church or trying to turn a new page, but you are a complete, brand new unit. God takes the old man and burns him completely out with the Holy Ghost and fire and comes himself, sends down your representation. No man can come to me except my Father has drawn him. And all the Father has given me will come to me. You sit. Same plan, same way. Satan was, will be taken from the earth. Just exactly like Satan was taken from you. Satan cannot bother or he can tempt, but he cannot get a born-again Christian for God from the foundation of the world for sign and sent Jesus to redeem it. And the blood speaks fine. How can he sin when it can't be seen even by God? He don't even, the only thing he hears is your voice. He sees your representation. Hey, Amen. That is true. See, by the same means, for the world is one of his attributes, just the same as you are one of his attributes. The world becomes one of his attributes because it was God's thinking in the beginning to have a world, to be on a throne, to be a king, to be a redeemer, to be a healer. That's his attributes. Just like an attribute of you. I can't say a, a post lest I think a post. I can't say man lest I think a man. And when I think a man, then say man, the thinking is my attribute and the expression is the word. Amen. See? Like Isaiah. How could he say that a virgin was going to conceive? What is the thought? Now many of you wonder how them that discernment comes. I'm going to tell you. See? It's a word that I say. And it isn't my thinking because I don't know. I don't know the thinking of it. How can I tell you who you are and where you come from when I don't know you? How can I tell you what you've done 10 years ago and I've never seen you in my life? How can I tell you where you do and what you'll do 10 years from now? How do I know the future? But it is somebody else's thought. Let the mind that was in Christ be in you. Let the mind that was in Christ be in you. See? Then it isn't your thinking. It's His thinking through you. And you're not expressing your own words. You're expressing His words. That's how many times a brethren gets confused on interpretation of tongues and things. See, they say things that's not right. They don't realize that that's Satan. You say, in the garden of God, just wait till we get through. Find out if it's not or not. The weeds and the wheat grow in the same field. They both live by the same sun and the same rain. But if there be one among you who's a prophet, I, the Lord, will speak to him. And if what he says happens, then that's me. Because he's not expressing his own. He's expressing my thoughts. My attributes of the things that has to come. And I'll use his mouth to express them by. And after he said them, they've got to come to pass. Heavens and earth will pass away, but my word shall never fail. Isaiah said, a virgin shall conceive. That settles it. She's going to conceive. What God said, he does. Oh, make known by his prophets all of his manifestations because it's his attributes of his thoughts expressed. Now, here it was in this little woman. She was one of his attributes. See? And there was a priest representing the light. He had learned it from the Bible. He had learned that God was God. He had learned that holiness is right. He was learned that there was a law of God. He learned it because of an intellectual conception, and he was born in the right lineage. He was a Levite, but he only knowed it 
by intellectual conception. And when the light of the hour, see, he learned it, but what had happened? Not what was happening. What had happened? And when he found what was happening, his denomination said nothing about it. Therefore, he had no representation of it. But here was a redeemer on earth at that time to redeem those attributes of God. And she received it. She ever questioned you. She said, well, Messiah comes, he'll do this, and that settled it. And she's seen it done, so he said, I'm the Messiah, so that settled it. And no more questions. She's went telling everybody else, come see who we'll found. <laughs> These processes make us clean a temple for his dwelling place. Justification, sanctification, baptism of the Holy Ghost with fire that does the cleansing of this temple. So as old world frame did not destroy by the waters when it was washed off. The frame of the planet, the old frame, the, all the dirt, all the uh, stuff that God put on the earth was not destroyed when the first world was destroyed and the Bible said it was destroyed. But it never destroyed the frame. It just destroyed the sin and sinners that was on it. The framework remained. But you see, as justification, as you Baptists and Methodists want to think of it, just justification, believing and being baptized, that's not enough. You wander right back into the things of the world, bob your hair and wear shorts and everything else. See, there's nothing happened yet. You just look back and see you've done wrong. What did justification do to the world? Never done a thing to it. Started right off again. Just as much sin as it ever was. That's the way a man does, and that's all the farther he goes. That's where the great evangelist Billy Graham ought to see. He said, I'll go and have 30,000 converts come back in a year, and ain't got 30. That's all the farther they went. See? They surely they repent. I believe they repent. Most of them, or some of them at least. But that isn't what it takes. It proves it here. Now, so the old world framework was not destroyed by the water. The world was only washed off. That got its baptism. It was baptized. So will the framework remain, though it be burnt by fire. It don't destroy the earth. It just destroys the sin that's on it. Notice here, some of you Bible students, especially Dr. Dale looking at me. Notice, in Peter, in the second chapter of Peter, your third chapter, rather, he uses the word world as a Greek word, cosmos, which means a world order. The earth shall pass away, melt the elements with fervent heat. See, doesn't mean that the earth, the planet's going to pass away, but the world cosmos, the politics, the sinners, the systems, sin, disease, germs, Everything that's wrong will pass away. Everything that once God once shook the heavens, but this time he said he'll shake the earth. Heavens and earth. He shook the earth rather than this time he'll shake the heavens. See? For we receive a kingdom that cannot be moved. It's an eternal kingdom. Watch how it goes to it. Notice here Peter said, And will melt with fervent heat, and the works therein burn up. Not the planet, the works therein. The works of man, all their politicians and their schemes and all their denominations and man-made schemes will all go with it Amen. when it burns. And, and uh, heavens will pass away with a great noise. Did you notice here? Heavens will pass away with a great noise. Listen, the whole earth will be on fire and will ignite the gases that's in the earth and explode it. That's exactly. Talk the Bible said here, Peter said, and the heavens will pass away in earth with a great noise. Such an explosion will rock it. Oh, my. Because it's got to kill every disease, every thistle, every thorn, everything there is to be done. The fire will burn it up. And remember, it's not altogether just a literal fire. It's also a holy fire. See, that will take away Satan and all of his, all the devils. Both heaven and earth, amen, will pass away, killing all the germs, all the insects, 
all natural life on it and around it. Even the H2O, the water will explode. Think of it. Talk about a noise. You think that little noise I hear in Tucson was something when he opened the six seals that shook the country around about and caused the talk. Wait till this earth receives her baptism. You know, when a man receives a baptism of fire, there's a lot of noise around there. <laughs> they think that's a shame to hear people scream and shout like that. Just wait till this earth gives her baptism. Now, yeah. it'll explain, explode it. The H2O, the water. For the Bible said here in Revelation 21, and there was no more sea. Explode it. This will change the whole surface of the entire earth. She'll burst and blow to pieces. All the outside of the crust and for hundreds of feet below it will just simply be completely demolished. The atmospheres, the gases that's in the earth now where they're finding these missiles that can't get through it, a great sphere up in there, way up in some kind of a sphere that there's all kinds of gases, they say. And that'll burst. The holy wrath of God will come upon it. And will cleanse it will change the entire service. Now, many of you won't put on this word, the Greek word, pass away. It comes from the word I had to find. I thought, how is this world going to pass away, and yet we're going to live on it? But if you'll notice, some of you people want to put it down. I'll spell it for you. I couldn't pronounce it. P-A-R-E-R-E-C-H-O-M-I-A. I don't know how to pronounce it. Now, that way, as I said, when I get... The inspiration strikes me for something. Then I go back to find out the word. Now here I can't spell the word. I can't, I can't pronounce it. But in that the Lord is still giving me a way. I go and find out what that word means. Then I got it. Right? Then I got it again. See, the heavens and earth will pass away. Now this word means passing from one form to another. It does not mean annihilation. As the English word would mean pass away, it's annihilated. But the Hebrew word or the Greek word here does not mean pass away. It means from passing from one thing to another. Look, but to pass from one condition, it says to another. Now notice, Paul used it. If you want to read it now, put it down. You can read it later. In Titus 3, 5, Paul is using this same word. means regeneration of man. That man has passed from a sinner to a saint. Not completely annihilated. When a man's changed, he isn't annihilated, but he's a changed person. He's been changed from what he was to what he is. Not annihilated. Jesus used the same word in Matthew 19, 28. Now, not 28, 19. Now, 19, 28. He said to them, you set with me in my Father's kingdom. Regenerated, you see. Change when you're changed. He used the same word. And he used the same word when he said to the colt, to loose the colt and let him go. Said the same thing at the resurrection of Lazarus. Loose him. Change him. He's been tied. Let him go. What does it mean? The earth will be loose from the grip of Satan. It'll be loose. It'll be loose from politics. It'll be loose from denominational religious systems. To be used for the kingdom of God. Amen. To be established here on the earth. But as long as it's in the hands of Satan, politics, Satan the ruler of the earth, he owns it. It belonged to him, but now Christ has redeemed it. One time I was his property, but not now. Amen. One time that little woman was his property, but not now. Amen. He come to loose the grip of it. He loosed the grip of sin of Satan upon my life, upon your life. And now we're not his. Amen. Have you often heard me say in prayer, take your hands off of God's property. Amen. 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 Have faith to claim your own. Amen. That's your rights. Take your hands off of her. Take your hands off of me. See? Faith will do it. Oh, my. Not annihilate it, but just take your hands off of it. To loose it, let it go, pass it away. It changes. The earth will change. Politics will change. The religions will change. The denominations will pass away. 
Politics will pass away. The kingdom of God shall be established. We read in John, uh, read John in Revelation 6, 14. See, it departed as a scroll. The Bible said the, that it, uh, John said, I saw the heaven and earth depart as a scroll. John, Revelation 6, 14. Jesus said, heavens and earth shall pass away. Or in other words, heavens and earth shall be changed. Use that same word right there again. No, not annihilated. For later in Revelations 21, 2 to 24, he seen the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven and sitting upon this earth. It doesn't mean that it'll be annihilated. The systems will be changed. Daniel saw the same thing. A rock struck the world. It was shoot out without hands. And the whole image of the systems has broke down and become like a chaff on a summer thrashing floor. And the wind packed it away. And the rock itself grew into a great mountain that covered the earth. Watch that mountain now in a little bit. That mountain covered the earth. Also, we find out here over in, also in Revelations there, it said the kings of the new earth will bring their honor and glory into it. And the earth is sitting, the new Jerusalem is sitting on this earth. See, it just changed. You're the same man in statue that you was when God called you. Same woman. But you see, what it did, it was a regeneration. The old life passed away. The old desires passed away. When you used to like to drink and cuss and fuss and stew and run around and immoral, that thing just died. See? But now you are used then. You were Satan's instrument. Now you are redeemed. And that's what the world will be the same way, redeemed. A new heavens and new earth is like you. You are a new creature. And the Greek word there, anybody knows, said you are a new creation. Amen. 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 A new creation in the same old temple. Amen. Hallelujah. Watch what happens here now. Glorious. All right. Now we find that this earth will hold the kings of the earth. And again, in Matthew 5, 5, Jesus said, the meek shall inherit the earth. It isn't going to just go to have another earth. It's just going to be the same earth. I'm trying to get the, the plan of redemption to you before, if I don't get nothing else, see? The baptism of fire on it only is to cleanse it and make it a fit place for his meek to live in. See? Oh. Like he did us, this creation to live in, before he could come in it, he had to give us the baptism of fire. Then the Holy Ghost come in and live. Baptism of fire. Then when you get that baptism of fire, then the Holy Ghost can come in. What does it does? It burns up everything contrary to the Word out of you. See? It won't believe nothing else but the Word. Because it is the Word. Uh, that's what we was talking the other day, the evidence of the Holy Ghost. See? The evidence of the Holy Ghost when you can receive the Word. Not some system. But have a clear understanding. How you know the words clear understand? What's it vindicate itself? Well, you say, I see this to it and that. Oh, yes. Weeds live the same way. See? But it's got to be the entire word. Amen. To be the bride, you have to be part of him. He is the word. Amen. See? And what a part of him is it? The word that's promised for this day when he calls his bride. Amen. You're part of that. You get it? Amen. I don't, don't lose that now. Notice, and he makes it a fit place to live through eternity. Notice, this is still not referred to, uh, uh, this millennium reign, the thousand years, is not the new earth. See, the millennium reign is a different reign. That's what we go into the millennium, but that isn't a new earth, a new heaven. No, no. That's just a rest place, see? a rest period. Not at all the new heavens and new earth. For see, in the millennium, we have things that would not go into that. It's a type of the old seventh day out of Eden. The seventh day after he made the world. The seventh day he rested in Eden. And the millennium, see the world has now almost 6,000 years old. See, in every 2,000 years, it's had a, a destruction. 
See? First 2,000, the flood came. And he baptized it with what? Water. Water. Next 2,000, Jesus come to sanctify it and clean it, dropped his blood upon it, called it his. All right, I'll come again. <laughs> now, as king with his queen. In the second 2,000 years, what does he do? He comes and gives his rest spirit and then burns her off and claims it for his own. Puts his own back on it. And notice, not the perfect world, this millennium. It's a type of the seventh day. Then comes the white throne judgment. See, we still have judgment. We're still in time in the millennium. It's a day, 1,000 years. It's a time element. Not, don't get that mixed up with the new earth now, because it's not. You must say this to me. I just, somebody might say this to me. That uh, now, Brother Branham, what are you going to do now? You've run out of your complete sevens. What are you going to do now? Now you're a dispensationalist, which I am. I believe it. God is too. No, notice, you've run out of dispensation types. For if you're going to put something beyond that seventh day, how are you going to get it? Where are you going to now? All right. I'll call your attention to something. <laughs> so I, ain't, I ain't out of dispensation yet. I got another scripture here. And remember, all of it has to be fulfilled. Every bit of it. I say, Brother Bram, you're trying to put something way over yonder beyond that seventh day. That seventh day Sabbath. As God made the earth and laid us reckon I owe Moses. We have Moses. He said, if you didn't know Moses, you'd know me. For he is the one who spoke of me. The Lord your God shall raise a prophet like unto me. Get the idea? Oh my. See, then Jesus said in John 14, when he, the Holy Ghost, has come. He will bring these things to your memory. See, show you what day you're living in. And then another thing you'll know him by, he'll show you things to come. Right? See, right back to the prophetic again. When he's come. See? In the new earth, new heavens, will never be blackened again when this new earth is to come. The devil will be bound. Satan, he's still loose now. He's accuser. But in the new earth, he will be bound and cast into the lake of fire, in this holy fire. Then in this new earth, let's look at it for a few minutes now. In this new earth, the skies will never be black again. No, that's from the curse. Never be black again with angry clouds. Winds will never blow across her again like that. No, she'll never tear up the trees and tear up the houses and turn over the things. Lightning and the wrath will never blouse from Satan across there and kill a man walking down the road or burn up a building. No more. There'll be no more typhoons sweep down or storms and tornadoes and tear up houses and kill little children and things. Uh-uh. Won't be no more. Trying to destroy. It won't be there. Satan is cast out. Amen. Wish we had time. Now, I'm just passing scriptures now, so we won't be too late. i got to pray for the sick. Heavens and earth have met. God and man is reconciled. <laughs> A restored Eden has begun. All the curse is gone. Just like all the curse of sin is gone when the Holy Ghost accepts you. See, you don't accept it, it accepts you. Because it's God's attribute. See, if it's the Holy Ghost, it means God's Spirit. And it's the attribute, the thought of God has accepted you. Because that, you were ordained for that purpose. See, yet you was born in sin, but God had that attribute. And here you express yourself here on earth and He comes down and gets you. See, you're back here, here's where you belong. See, see, sin's lost its power. Amen. Mm. That's right. The desire of sin's done gone from your heart Amen. when the Holy Spirit comes in. You are a restored person. And then when the earth is restored by the same thing, there can be no more cursing, no more storms, no more winds, no more typhoons, typhoons rather. You're reconciled. Man and God has met. The new earth will be put on its Eden beauty again. The new earth will spread forth her at your baptism of fire. This thing shall catch a fire and burn up. The elements will burn with, with fervent heat. All the works in the earth will burn. All the water will explode. It will ignite and blow all. Everything will blow up. Volcanics will erupt in thousands of miles in the air. will fly burning hot lava. Every germ... The Holy Spirit of God will cleanse off every speck of all the sin and everything. All the devil will be bound and cast into the lake of fire. 
consuming fire, God's wrath of fire. No beast will be there to destroy you again. When you walk down the road in the flower gardens, there will not be any serpent there to hiss at you and bite you with his paws and phantom. Oh my. Won't that be wonderful? Listen. There will be none of that new earth ever mounted up to a little yellow sod bank for a grave. Be none of them there. Man and God has come together, bride and bridegroom. Heavens and earth has embraced each other. God has come down to dwell among man. His tabernacles with them. There will be no more sin, no more sorrow. Never there will be a tear drop off of a mother's cheek over her baby. Amen. It won't be on that new ground. No, it's redeemed. It belongs to Him. And for His, that was redeemed out of it. See, look, you are part of that ground. Is that right? And when He redeems you, He redeemed the earth with the same thing and you are together again. Oh, how much plainer can it be? See? You have to be redeemed because you're part of it. If the blood didn't drop on you, He ain't redeemed yet. You're not called. Then He cleanses it. That's the same thing He does with fire. Even the blood drop, it's yet got to be cleansed by fire. Dry. For a dwelling place for God, God already took up His boat. Potentially, the kingdom of God is in the earth now in the hearts of His saints. It's His attributes that He began and again. Now His attributes is redeemed. What's He waiting? To redeem the earth. To set His attributes on it to fulfill exactly His predestinated plan. Do you see it? Notice, no graves, no teardrops, never. No more blood shed. She'll never be moistened by a teardrop or a blood. No. Be no more wars. No. No clouds of winter. No cold snow upon the breast of her. Won't lay there no more on it. The hot sun will not never burn its grass. Hallelujah. Even the desert shall bring forth roses. <laughs> that old sticky desert will blossom one day like a rose. God said so. When she's redeemed, when she takes her fire baptism, there's all kinds of cactuses and stickers and everything there now, but she's got a fire baptism coming. Like the man was when he still had hatred, malice, and strife in him, and the fire baptism come, it cleaned it off. No more jealousy, no more nothing. It's just absolutely a dwelling place for God. And remember, that's his delegation. Let's go to meet him over yonder. Hey. <laughs> oh, what a, that's not just a story. That's the truth. That's what God said. That's what he's promised. That's what the bride goes to. Even the desert, he said, shall blossom. Be a rose. Satan, sin, and sinners has gone for it ever. It's all done, blended into eternity, and all that was perverted. That great archangel that sat there one day, Satan, that did all this evil will be destroyed. Remember the Bible said, if that soul won't do as he did, said do, he will even destroy that soul. But you see, he can't destroy himself and remain God. So if that soul is of the world, it has to be destroyed. But if it's eternal with God, it never did begin because it's part of God. It can never be destroyed. Amen. What a beautiful, how, how thankful that the church ought to see that. People, all you've done lays right here. This is what I'm trying to say. I'm omitting some of it because I want to get back to it again. Even these things, Satan, sinners are gone for eternity. Never no more to be all... See, Satan cannot create. If he is, he's God. Hey? He can only pervert what has been created. Hey? And all perversion will, perverting will be done away with. And death is a perverting of life. And when the perversion is done, there can be no more death. Old age is a sign of death. And when old age has gone away, life comes in. All perversion, signs, and everything else is gone. Thorns and thistles is a sign of sin. The earth will be cursed with them, and when they're done away with, sickness come by that, it'll be done away with. Death will be done away with. Bloodshed will be done away with. Nothing will ever touch that sod but holiness. The redeemed. Oh, my. Oh, I just feel so good. God and His creation and His creatures of this creation is redeemed by His own blood 
cleansed by his own cleansing process, Amen. his germ-killing, sin-killing process. Amen. Like if anything is sterilized. That's right. The best sterilization we've ever had has been fire. Amen. You can take anything and wash it with soap suds and all these chemicals that they talk about. It still ain't free, but you burn it once. Amen. And when the holy fire of God sterilizes the earth with the chemicals, He's lifted His bride, which can come into heaven with Him, while this is going on, and comes back upon the earth again. New heavens and a new earth. The cold winter can't hurt it. The hot summers can't hurt it. The deserts will blossom as a rose. Sin and sinners are gone. God and His creatures and creation is dwelling together in perfect harmony. As the heavens and the earth is husband and wife, so is Christ and the church. And they all meet in one big glorious plan of redemption and is brought right into the bosoms of God again. You see it? And in the new earth, there is a new city. Amen. Oh, my. Now listen close. Don't forget this. <coughs> that Jesus said in John 14, He would go to prepare. Let not your hearts be troubled when He's going away. I have a reason to go away. You believed in God. He said, believe also in me. They couldn't see He was God. He said, you believed in God. Now you believe in me. And I'm going to prepare a place for you. In my Father's house is many mansions. In my Father's kingdom is many palaces. Christ is there under the construction of this new Jerusalem now. Now listen close. Don't, move, don't, don't miss this. Christ is in heaven today preparing the new Jerusalem just as God created the earth in six days, made the earth in six days, or six thousand years, they said, be not ignorant, we read in the scripture, one thousand years is one day, and Christ is gone and is preparing a place that's been on its construction for many, many thousands of years, preparing a place, and if I go and prepare a place, I will come again and receive you. That wherever I am, there you may be also. Amen. Notice, the Redeemer and the redeemed. Amen. Wish we had time now. I got Marcher Solomon courting this girl, the bride. Oh, we just have to omit it. It's getting too late. I'll get it again. When he tries to get her, but she's engaged to a shepherd boy. Some people thought that was a song he sang. Oh, no. Solomon was the throne uh, inherit of David on earth, but showed that kingdom had to pass away. It was a type of Christ in love with the bride. See? Notice that Jesus said, John 14 now, go and prepare a place. Oh, what will it look like? Did you ever think now, bride, what it will look like? It is prepared and designed by the divine architect. What will that city look like? Now, we're going to talk about it for a few minutes. The divine architect has prepared it. Designed it. And look, he's designed it with tender hands for his beloved bride. What's it going to look like? Could you imagine a man marrying a wife that's able? How he builds and puts every little thing just exactly to her touch. Just what she'd like. Amen. Now the divine architect has designed the new city where he will live with his bride just to her touch. No wonder the apostle said, Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, and neither has ever entered the heart of man. Let's see if we can probe into it just for a moment. See what it's going to look like. The divine architect has designed this for his beloved. See? Oh, what a place it must be when divine nature, a divine architect, has a design it for a divine attribute that's been divinely predestinated by a divine God Amen. Who, who is the author of divine life. Amen. What will that city look like? Think of it. Remember, it's not heaven. 
John said, I saw it coming down out of heaven. It's to be on earth. See? Not this earth is going to pass away. It's a redeemed earth. God didn't say He's going to raise up a new generation. He's going to redeem the one that's here. He's not going to raise up a new generation. He redeems the one that's already here. He ain't going to make no new world. It's this one right here. It's just going to burn it off. Cleanse it like He did you. His plans must forever remain. Now, look. It's going to be, remember, it's going not to be heaven. It comes down from heaven. It's a dwelling place, a place to dwell in, to take up His abode. Like um, it was the, uh, John on the Isle of Patmos here in Revelation 21, he saw it descending. John saw the city descending from heaven like a dove, like he's seen. Here come God down upon His earthly tabernacle, Jesus, in the f- descending out of heaven. Jesus was baptized went straight away when He met the prophet. The Word comes to the prophet and He was the Word. And the prophet is standing there denying all their denominations and everything. And when He's seen the Word, the Word come right to Him. Amen. The prophet was so shocked. He said, I have need to be baptized of Thee. Why comest thou me? He said, Suffer to be so. For thus it is becoming to us, we know the message, to fulfill all rights. I am the sacrifice that must be washed. Amen. He suffered Him. When He went up out of the water, He said, I saw heavens open." The prophet saw it. Yes. Yes. Husband, and where did it settle on? Just exactly like it did on there. Up on a dove coming down out of heaven and settling up on a redeemed entire earth. Amen. To do what? To claim every attribute Amen. that He made the earth for. Every man that was represented in the eternity and every woman is redeemed. Amen. Amen. She's been scoured and burned by fire. Jesus and His fiery temptations in the wilderness for 40 days. After that, notice it was ready for His ministry then. Think of it. The Holy Ghost descending up on earth. Jesus. And that holy blood. Now watch. I hope I don't go too deep for you. The holy blood that was created by God. The blood. The life. The creation of God. Jesus was the beginning of the creation of God. You see it? God made in creation. He was spirit. The Bible said He's the beginning of the creation of God. How did it begin? In the wombs of a woman. Which is what? The woman is not. Like how them blind people can't see the serpent seed right here. See, Eve was put here on the earth and before Satan ever touched her or anything else, God said to him, multiply and replenish the earth. That's right. But Satan comes in here. And if that was Adam's son, then were Adam was a direct descent from God. And you only take the nature of your parent. And when you're born again, you take the nature of your parent of heaven. And your parent of heaven is the attribute of the Word. Amen. Or the Word is the attribute of your parent. And how can you deny it for denomination? Amen. Right. 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 Amen. Uh, I, I hope you don't miss this. I know it's from God. <laughs> Jesus. Here He comes descending. And there was Jesus, the attribute of God. Now the woman, she, watch... God said, because it did this, that I'll put enmity between your seed and the serpent's seed. Is that right? Yes. And the woman don't have any seed. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Did you ever think of that? Right. She has a field. Right. Not a seed. Right. See, the serpent had already placed his seed there. Yes. Then if the woman doesn't have a seed... She has to remain to have a seed. You see, through the sexual intercourse here had brought from Satan the serpent, which was not a reptile. Amen. Had legs, because his legs went off of him. He's the most subtle, the only beast that would, would coordinate with the woman. A beast seed won't do it now. Ain't nothing else. They tried it, it won't work. See, the seed life of a male won't go into a female woman. It won't do it. But that was the closest thing. See, they can't find that species between a Japanese and a man. 
See, each one, as it's evoluted up from the birds and on up to monkeys and so forth, up to Japan, see, then there's a loss. That was a serpent. Not a snake. Every farm is lost from him because he was cursed. Now, God didn't curse Adam. He might have done the same thing, but he cursed the earth, thorns and thistles. He didn't curse Eve, but said she, Adam would be her ruler. From now on, she ain't trying to preach or anything. Adam is her ruler. And all the days of your life, and in sorrow, and you'll bring her life into the earth. But he said, I'll put enmity between your seed. Now, she didn't have any seed. She never did have. So she had to receive a seed from some way. God gave her seed. Not by sexual intercourse, but by creation. Can't you blind people see? That's the seed of the serpent. Oh, my. Satan got there before Adam. That was the seed, but she received a seed. What was it? God Himself. He was the beginning of the creation of God. Now look, when Seth was born, or Abel, he was a just man from his father. Seth's the same way. Where did that evil fellow come from? Murder, liar. See? Amen. See where it come from? It had to be a seed because he was a seed. Cain was a man. Oh, where's that blind people at? Amen. God of this world is blind. Well, no wonder Jesus said no man can see it. See? You say, why don't they see it? Jesus said one time to his disciples, it's given to you to know the kingdom of God, but not to them. That's the reason you come from 1,500 miles square. See? given to you to know the kingdom. Look, fellas, come to you from South Africa and around this late hour when the bride is made up to go into the kingdom. I just don't have enough time. Notice. Watch now. See? Now, can you see the serpent seed there? See how it done? It's perfect. See? Now, some of them said, I like that guy in Tucson the other day trying to, uh, he may listen to this tape. But if it is, man, I want to tell you something. When he said, Eve said, here's where they go to, I've gotten a son from the Lord or a man from the Lord. Well, certainly. God has a law. Look, you take a seed and plant it out here in a field where they're sweet and you plant briars out there, I don't care. The same sun and the same rain brings that seed to life. God has a law. And that law cannot be broken. I don't care if, a, if a, the honorist woman in the town, the honorist man, and unmarried and everything, would have a, an, an affair and live together and bring forth a child. That child would have to come by the law of God. Because you know other way, if you don't, you make Satan a creator and then he's a God. Oh, how blind can you be? God's law. Certainly, if you ever got a baby, I don't care if it's Esau, Jacob, whoever it was, or any ill-famed person, if it's Judas that had to come by God. God has the law. The Bible said the sun shines on the just and the unjust. The rain falls on the just. Now, Hebrews, the sixth chapter, and uh, it says that uh, the rain cometh off upon the earth to water it and prepare it for what's dressed, you know, to make living. But thorns and thistles live by the same water. Amen. Same sunshine. Amen. For it's the law of God to ripen every seed, to make every seed produce itself. So it had to produce the serpent seed. Amen. And it never, never hindered God. It fulfilled His complete plan. It made Him a Redeemer. Any blind would almost see that. Unless it's hid, the God of the world is hid it from It's just as plain as anything you can see. There you are. There's your serpent seed. Now notice. But Jesus was the beginning of the creation of God. Now what does a woman do? When the germ comes from the male sect, I deny that. The woman has no life in her at all. She only has a little egg which is a field out here. Like you took a field and disc it all up and, and pro, put a spray on it and sprayed all the germs out of it and not, not even grass or nothing could grow in it. And then you fertilize again sow some good seed in there. And if the enemy comes and sows some other seed, the same law of God will ripen both seeds. Well, God wasn't intended for that to be. See? But what happened? See, the sperm from the male carries the hemoglobin, which is the blood. In the blood is the life. And if you ever, I've watched it in high breeding cattle and things like that. Brother Shakari and I taking it through into the doctors and so forth, watching how it goes in a chemist. See? And then here comes a sperm.
Mercy Saints, welcome to the service this morning. Uh, we'll start and sing Jesus, all for Jesus. All I am and ever hope to be. All of my ambitions, I surrender it into your hands. For it's only you in your will that I am free. Amen. Amen. If you can have the words. Oh 
Lord is man, that a king would live his glory above, Amen. and suffer Amen. in deep agony. Amen. As we worship him, we sing. The lonely hill with me in mind. I was wretched, naked, and blind. Oh, yes, my Lord was so great, only one could man. Crucified word because now I owe my whole life to the crucified one. Amen. Who gave is all for me this morning, Lord. Oh, yes, we. Holy name, oh, praise God for the crucified one. Let's sing the first verse one more time. Lord, where would I go, Lord? Oh, Lord, would I be if you had not gone on the lonely What is man that a king would live his glory above and suffer in deep agony? You thank him for the crucified word. Amen. I owe my you owe him his life to the cruel. One. Amen. Who gave? He gave His all for me. And now, Lord, we know all that in me. Lord, I will praise Your holy name. Oh, praise God.
could my zeal no longer know that these for could not at all Lord thou must say and thou Lord hold in my hand this morning Lord no price I bring even simply to thy cross I cling and while I draw I draw this fleeting breath amen when my eyes shall close in death amen when I rise to us rock father oh god there's so much chaos lord happening outside the world lord there's so many happenings lord around us father every sign lord of the end time is being shown lord in our personal lives in our personal spaces father rock of ages rock of ages cleft for us lord we trust you this morning lord jesus we lay at your presence lord this morning we lay at your feet this morning father with humble hearts, Father. Oh, God, looking down, Lord, to dust, Lord, where we came from, Father. Oh, Lord, how, Lord, you have made it possible, Lord, this day to see that glorious light of the message, Father. Oh, God, to give us a hope, Lord, that is beyond any hope, Father. Oh, God, that we have a world that we can rise to, Father. We have a standard, Lord, that you have risen, Lord, for your children, Heavenly Father, this morning. Oh, Lord, whatever desire it is in their hearts this morning, Father, Grant it, Lord Jesus, Lord. Let it be settled now, Father, that once we've come into this holy presence, Father, that there's nothing more that is going to stand, Lord, in your word, Father, in the way of your word, Father. Speak to us, Lord Jesus, and let us be quick to listen, Lord, to thee, Lord. Forgive us, Lord, of our iniquities, Lord. Forgive us of our feelings, Father, where we've stumbled and fallen, Lord Jesus, where we've not kept every word, Lord. Forgive us, Father. For commission and omission, Lord Jesus, we simply, Lord, bow before you, Lord, seeking, Lord, for your grace, Lord. We do not ask for justice, Father, because none of us would merit, Father. We would perish, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, but your grace, Lord, oh, sovereign grace that came down screaming and shouting to your children, and we heard, Father. Oh, God, have mercy upon us this morning. Send your gift, Lord, of your spirit, Father, to come and fill your house this morning, Lord. Feel each tabernacle, Lord, standing here, Father. Oh, God, your bride is waiting for your word this morning, Lord. A thirsting in their hearts, Father. Knowing, Lord, that it's not just coincidence that we're here this morning, Lord. There is really something that you want to say to us, Lord. We are here to listen, Father. Let us lay aside everything else, Lord, now. Every unbelief, every doubt, everything, Lord, that is blocking the gates of the soul, Lord. 
O Christ, Heavenly Father. We pray, Lord, that you lift it up, Lord Jesus, and set it aside, Father. Come and wash us with the waters of the word, Lord Jesus, and that we can be whiter than snow this morning. We only stand, Lord, in your righteousness, Father. We have none of our own, Lord Jesus. And so, Lord, simply to thy cross we cling, Lord. We pray, Lord, even for the rest of the service, Lord, take full preeminence of everything, Lord, from your man servant, Lord, to the lady, Lord, to even the people in service, Lord Jesus. Commit each and every one of them, Father. Even those streaming in, Lord Jesus, your word is sharper than a two-edged sword, Lord, and it pierces asunder, Lord, and it discerns the thoughts of your, of, your, of your sons and daughters, Father. Let it be real for us this morning. Make your word manifest to us, Lord, as we wait upon thee. We pray this shortly, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. We welcome you to the service this morning. Quite a chilly morning, but uh, it's a wonderful uh, first Sunday of the, of the month. Amen. Just say hi to your neighbor. Greet them with uh, the warmth and bless them this morning as we start. Amen. Oke rushwa rushwa na dunia hi utakapokufa moyo kwa kudhi zilizo baraka zihesabu tu na we utaona ni ajabu kweli zilizo baraka zihesabu tu Mungu aliyofanya niyo maku Zilizo baraka zie sabutu Na we utaona ni ajabu Je unalemewa? Je unalemewa na mzigo Salaba wako? Salaba wako ni uzi Cho hesabu baraka Hesabu baraka moja moja We na we na we Utaimba isiku Leme kweli zili Zo baraka zi Hesabu tu kwa ni mungu Wali ofanya Iyo maku kweli zili Zo baraka Zie sabu tu Na we utaona ni ajabu Kwa mba, kwa mba unamali sifanye Tama na yesu ndie mali yako ya kufa Esabu baraka za chini na ju Kwa zinunu liki kwa dhamani Kweli uzi nizo baraka zi Esabu ju Mungu wali ofanya ni omaku Na zili zo baraka zi esabu ju Na we utaona ni ata Na ya tu mizayo tu ya sahau Na baraka zi tutu si zizarau Esabu baraka zisipote Esabu baraka ata uzo Kweli zili zo baraka zi Esabu tu na mungu wali ofanya Niyo kuhu zili zo baraka zi Esabu tu Nawe utaona ni ajabu Haya basi, haya basi Nugu tuende mbele, mbele tu Na tusife moyo mungu ni Esabu baraka, esabu baraka Nawe mgoje Hata wisho, hata kuwana Kweli uzi Nizo baraka zie sabu tu Mangu wali ofanya ni omaku Zilizo baraka zie sabu tu Nawe utaona ni ajabu Amen 
Hallelujah. Let's in the key. O twende kwa Yesu mimi nawe kweli njia atonya tuijue na ibo chuoni na mwenyewe kweli hapa sema na furaha Tutayo, tutayo na mioyo Ikitaka na sana Wapu mbogo ziku onana Wanana waje atuambia Ufuraini mkisikia Ye mfalme ni ye mfalme wetu pia Na tumtinjo, na tumtinjo Kweli na fura, na fura Tutayona Kweli mioyo ikitaka sana Na kwa kuwa kwa ziku Wangu je ani, wangu je ani leo Siki za sana, siki za sana Ase mafuruma za kezi kuitaku Ewe vitana, ewe kitana Jo kweli fura na fura Kutu taiona Sana na mumu Kuzi kuona na na milene Let's sing wango je ani wango tango Wango je ani leo yuko Sikiza sikiza sana Asema pu huruma zake huruma Zakezi kuitapu Mimi na taewe kichana Jo na fura Tutaio, tutaio na mioyo Itakana sana Na kwa kumo kozi kuona na Aleluya na mile eletu Without the instruments, na fura, na fura, a tutayona, na mini mioyo iki takata sana. Hallelujah, wakomo kozi kuona na na mine. Amen. Have your seats now. We thank the Lord. Amen. As we have our tithes and offering, we'll have a special from Sister Gertrude. And if we have time, we'll have one more.
other specials we'll make time uh, another time uh, apologies and let's pray let's pray for the tides most gracious heavenly father we come before you lord this morning once again lord jesus as that poet has written lord this is my song through all the ages that you have led us all the way we thank you lord for that song lord thank you for the sister who sang it lord continue lord ministering lord to your church lord through these songs father continue blessing them and even lord for the tithes lord that have been given father oh god we ask lord that you be used lord for the father of the kingdom lord jesus and for your glory and now lord as we enter lord into the feast law that you have prepared in front of us father we just want to settle our minds now lord settle our worries lord oh god that you can speak lord master and that we will listen lord jesus and hearken to your voice father let it be you speaking lord through the man servant this morning lord bless him lord and use him lord father lord set him aside lord oh god let us see jesus lord we pray lord they shortly believing and trusting in jesus name amen uh, the minister can come anytime as we sing ni wako wewe ni meku jua na ume
Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we stand and pray? Okay, okay. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we are gathered here. We are grateful, Lord, that you have enabled us to be here. You have brought us from different places, Heavenly Father. You have given each one of us courage to be here, Lord, so that, Lord, we can hear from you. None of us has anything loving, Father, but the great love that you have for us, that in this evening time, Lord, you send us a prophet, a man who came with the thus says the Lord, and he spoke, Heavenly Father, and we have been corrected, Heavenly Father. We have been educated, dear Lord. We have known where we have come from and where we are going and the preparation that is taking place. That is why we are here this morning, that, Lord, you may speak to each one of us, correct us where we have not done the right thing, help us, the loving Father, that we may draw nearer and nearer unto thee, O God, and that your Spirit will come down upon each one of us, that the word that is in us, Heavenly Father, will be changed to life, O God. Have mercy upon each one of us, Heavenly Father. Speak to each one of us, dear Lord Jesus Christ. As we open your word, loving Father, Lord, we are praying that your Holy Spirit will interpret it, loving Father, according to your perfect will and according to the plan that you had for this day, even before the, the foundation of the world. Heavenly Father, we continue thanking you, Master, for this church for the great testimony that we have had, loving Father, of our pastor, Lord God. Master, we thank you for the healing that you have granted him. We thank you for the inspiration of your word that you have put in his heart, loving Father. And over the years, Lord, it has brought this message to the level where it is, O God. We thank you and we give glory to your name for the life of our past loving Father. Lord God, now as we sit down to listen to your word, Father, there may be some of us who are unwell. There are some who, Lord God, are disturbed in their hearts, O oh God. Father, as the word goes forth, may you take our scripture, loving Father. May you take our quote, dear Lord, to that brother or that sister, that, Lord, they may get comfort from you. Father, this is our humble prayer this morning. And we are grateful that you are here with us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We commit the service now in your hands. We pray that your presence be here with us. It's our humble prayer, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We turn into our Bibles, uh, Romans chapter 7. We read from verse 1 to 6. That is slide 173, uh, friends. Slide 173. Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how that the law hath dominion of a man as long as he liveth. For the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth. But if the husband is dead, she is loose from the law of her husband. So then if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law, so that she is no, no adulteress, though she be married to another man. Wherefore, my brethren, ye also have become dead to the law by the body of Christ, that you should be married to another, even to him who 
is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto God. Amen. For when we were in the flesh, the motions of sin, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto, unto death. But now we are delivered from the law, that being dead wherein we were held, that we should serve in newness of spirit Amen. and not in the oldness of the letter. Amen. Dugu zangu hamjui maana nasema na hao waijuao sharia ya kuwa torati humtawala mtu wakati anapokuwa yuhai. Kwa maana mwanamke aliye na mume amefungwa na sheria kwa yule mume wakati anapokuwa yuhai. Bali akifa yule mume amefunguliwa ile sheria ya mume. Basi wakati awapo hai mumewe kama akiwa na mume mwingine huitwa mzinzi ila mumewe akifa amekuwa huru hafungwi na sheria hiyo hata yeye si mzinzi ajapoolewa na mume mwingine kadhalika ndugu zangu nyinyi pia mmefia torati kwa jea ya mwili wa Kristo mpate kuwa mali ya mwingine yeye alifufuka katika wafu kusudi tumzalie Mungu matunda kwa maana tulipokuwa katika hali ya mwili tamaa za dhambi tulipokuwapo kwa zilizo kuwako kwa sababu ya torati zilitenda kazi katika viungo vyetu hata uh, hata mkaizalia mauti mkaizalia mauti mazao bali sasa tumefunguliwa kwa torati bali sasa tumefunguliwa kwa eh, tumefunguliwa katika torati tumeifia hali ile iliyotupinga ili sisi tupate kutumika katika hali mpya ya roho si katika hali ya zamani ya andiko amen you may be seated toza kiti so once more i greet you in jesus name na usalimia tena katika jina la yesu afurahi kuwa mahali hapa so um, from the scripture where we have read tokana na maandiko ambayo tumesoma you know the bible is telling us biblia inatuambia that we are bound by the law to our husband Mwetu. as long as he liveth muradi yuhai and you know our husband is alive wajua mume wetu bado yuhai how many believe that our husband is alive amen our husband is alive mume wetu yuhai and therefore we can never think of another one atuwezi wazia mwingine basi because our husband is alive maana mume wetu yuhai bado praise the lord amen and Uh, the last time on 21st we talked about the restoration of the bride to her husband wakati ule mwingine tulienda kuhusu kurejeshwa kwa bibi harusi kwa mumewe and i want to continue a bit on that na nitaendeleza kidogo hilo um god giving us grace mungu akitujalia neema and we see how much we can do amen so here uh, the bible is telling us biblia inatuambia mahali hapa In verse 3 so then if while a husband liveth she be married to another remember the believer of this message we have our husband is alive so getting another doctrine basi kupata fuzo lingine tofauti getting another uh, another message another word ama ujumbe mwingine na mwingine to the message of our day kinyume na ujumbe huu which is contrary to the message of our day kinyume na ujumbe wa siku yetu it is under the race ni uzinzi we believe that amen and because because of that sababu ya hiyo we are talking about a bride tunaenda kuhusu bibi harusi whose whose main nature ambaye asili yake kuu and whose character na tabia yake is the word ni neno is the word Nineno. of the hour that we are living in about tonight and yake and we will Amen. see that today tutaona hiyo hivi leo so you see in the in the beginning hapo mwanzo basi and uh, 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 in the beginning hapo mwanzo there was an original plan palikuwa na mpango wa kiasili the original plan was kwa mpango ulikuwa read adam here tuweke adam hapa and let's have let's have another another uh, uh, person na tuwe na mtu mwingine who later was called Eve ambaye baadaye alitoa so alitoa Hawa the two of them ila wawili can now be able to manifest waweza kudhihirisha the idea was for Eve to produce a wazo ilikuwa ni Hawa apate kuzaa fruit tunda that will manifest that which was in Adam ambalo tadhihirisha kile kilichokuwa ndani ya Adamu 
But before that happens, she fell. She fell. And therefore, the process of restoration started after that fall. So, the bride that we are talking about today, the bride that comes from the end time message, the bride that, that, that God has been preparing all the way through, it is how that we are now. We will be a manifestation. We will manifest Adam, the second Adam. We will manifest that second Adam. And that's what we want to talk about this morning. So now, I was thinking we sing a song. Uh, with God all power. Done. Can we sing that song? In the name of Jesus, we've got the power. In the name of the Lord, though Satan rages, we cannot be defeated. We've got the power. In the name of the Lord, give me your hand. Let's agree together. Then all of our enemies will crumble at our feet. Amen. For whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven oh on the name of jesus said an assembly amen we've got the power oh in the name of jesus for we've got the power in the name of the Lord, oh, though Satan rages, oh, we cannot be defeated, amen, we've got the power, in the name of the Lord, for so many years. I want you to listen, I, I want you to listen to this, this, this. This, um, this verse here. So, it talks about it talks about the message. It talks about our message. It talks about our preparation. How God is preparing us. I was I was singing this song. And I was thinking about it. And I was saying what was inside this this this. Um, this, the person who came up with this song, what was it in their mind? Let's sing it and you see. Satan has tried to stop us, amen, by the pride of Jesus. Oh Lord is still alive, like a mighty army, like a mighty army. We keep marching onward, winning every battle for the Lord's on our side. Hallelujah, we've got the power, amen, in the name of Jesus. So we've got the power. In the name of the Lord, though Satan rages, we cannot be defeated. We got the power. In the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Though Satan rages, Brother, sister, you should not be worried. If this message 
if this message is in you, don't worry about the, how, the efforts that the devil is trying to do. Remember what we read uh, uh, that Sunday? Brother, give us uh, slide five. Amen. Now the prophet is telling us to restore means a claim uh, uh, means to bring back. To restore means to bring back. Or a claim can be enforced. We are not we are not here to persuade the devil. We are not here to persuade Satan. We are here to enforce. We are here to say bring back. Amen. The faith that was in me. The part that we played. The plan that was there before the foundation of the world. That plan. We are enforcing that plan. You know, whoever designed this building. You know, he designed a building. But they had to be a people to enforce a plan. And that's why the, the building is there. If there is no, if there are no people to enforce, then the plan will not become a building. So there was a plan. There was a plan for the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ to manifest Adam, Adam that which was in Adam. And what was in Adam? He was the one. And that one. Had to be manifested. Amen. Let me, me, me not finish. Now, uh, uh, slide six. Now, to bring anything back to its rightful owner, where it belongs. Therefore, some way it went away from its rightful owner. It went away from our rightful owner. And when we went away, and we wandered around anywhere. Seven. But to restore is to bring it back to it. Who will hold it? To bring it back to its natural estate. Where it was at the first time. This is why the world. That's why the prophets have come. They have done their part. That's why apostles have come. They have done their part. And they have gone. But the, because we've got to get to the point where the full restoration takes place. And the friends, that is where we are. Amen. Amen. Let me leave the one of uh, that one. And yes. continue with the one of today. <laughs> Otherwise, I will not be able to finish. So, in slide um, one seventy nine. So, the first Eve. That fell and it was used in the second reformation. Second coming is bringing forth a child. Now listen to this. Now has become the bride again. Are we together? Amen. The seed right back with the original word again. Are we together? Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ talked about the Alpha and the Omega. I am Alpha and the Omega. He never said anything between. Because it is not important. It is the beginning where we had the first Adam and the end where we have the second Adam. It is in the beginning where we had the first Eve and the end where we have the second Eve. The first message and the second message. The first message it was in the Garden of Eden. The second, uh, 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 the first, the second ministry. 
is now the second Adam and the second he prepared again for the garden. For that life which they live, for that life that they live before the fall, this one is the one which is the one that they live before the fall. This message is preparing us for us. It's preparing us for that. Amen. And every time we come here, every time we come here, every time we come here, every time It's like a test. Ni kama mtiani fulani. You are coming here for a test. Unakuja hapa pewe mtiani. Do you qualify? Je, utahitimu? What makes me not to qualify? Nini unifanya nisihitimu? Every time I look around. Kila wakati nikiangalia. And the word goes forth. Neno laendelea. I check myself. Najichunguza. And I ask myself. Najiuliza. Do I qualify? Je, nahitimu? Amen. Why? Because there is a preparation. Bona, there manalizi. is a preparation kuna for the second Adam and the, the, first, uh, the second Eve to be one thing and to have that nature. That nature where they could fellowship Apo, with God and walk in the evening in the cool of the day they walk together. Watabepa, and they say let there be a tree Wasebe, here there would apa. be a tree. Let there be a river here there was a That kind of life. The prophet is telling us. That is where the second uh, the second ministry is taking us back. Ina turejesha turudi pale. Amen. Amen. That's right. And the devil doesn't want it. Na ibilisi ataki hili. The devil doesn't want it. Hataki fight it. Tutapigania. He fight it. Anaipigania, anaipiga. Every now and then something comes up. Kila mara wakati tena kitu kinachoka. So long as we are holding to the word. Lakini mradi tushikilia neno. So long as we are hold on to the word. Tushikilia neno. Everything that we uh, the devil tries. So chote bilisi na tunaribu. We have a way of knocking it down. Tuna njia kushinda. Amen. Amen. That's right. So we need to, we, we we need to stay with the word. Basi tutahitaji tukae katika neno. So the alpha and the omega. Basi alpha na omega. The first ministry and the second ministry. And one is the three. The great masterpiece of a of a family. Kila kipeki kuu cha familia ya familia. The second Adam and the second Eve. Now Now ready for the garden. Sasa wako tayari kwa ajili ya bustani. Amen. Now ready for the God. Wako tayari sasa kurudi bustanini. Brother ask yourself. Ndugu jiulize. Sister ask yourself. Dada jiulize. I'm asking myself. Na jiuliza tena. Am I ready now for Je, the God? Niko tayari kwenda bustanini. Am I ready for that fellowship? Niko tayari kwa ule ushirika. Am I ready for that kind of life? Niko tayari kwa maisha ya ile. Ile asili. That was there in the garden of Eden. Ile kuepo bustanini mwa Eden. Uhai ule. There was no disease. Hapa kuna maradhi. There was no suffering. Wala kuteseka. There was nothing. Wala chochote. There was no stress wala kuko na stress amen that's right now ready for the garden sasa kwa tayari kurudi busani the millennium amen back on earth kurudi duniani hallelujah hallelujah now uh when it for He took time as he did through the millions of years before the foundation. Alichukua wakati kama alivyofanya katika milioni kwa milioni ya miaka. The first perfect couple. Akifinyanga wanandoa kwanza wakamilifu. Remember that first couple Wanyo in the garden of Eden. Mwedeni. He took millions of years. Alichukua milioni ya miaka. And listen to this. Nasikiza hili. Molding the first perfect couple. Akifinyanga wanandoa kwanza wakamilifu. And they fell. Na wakaanguka. Right? Kweli? Now he says now Asema. it's been through a thousand a thousand of years Sasa kupitia maelfu ya miaka And through those thousands of years Katika maelfu ya miaka He has molded again Amefinyanga tena And now here sasa they apa. are ready Wako tayari sasa Praise the Lord Asifiwe Bwana Now here they are ready Sasa hapo wako tayari Thousands of years. Why? He had come down. Look, look for a body. He formed a body. And entered into that body. And when he entered the, for, the, that body, he went and died. And the blood that was shed. Paying the price. Amen. Paying the price. And that price has never been paid. It has never been paid by anybody. That's why the devil has no power in this hour. Because he has no power in this hour. That's right. I thought you opened. Bwana tuombe. 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 Bwana tuombe.
That is where the devil doesn't have power now. Because we are covered by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who was the Lord Jesus Christ? John chapter 1 verse 1. Yohana moja moja. He was the one. Alikuwa neno. From the beginning he was the one. And it is that one. That went down to the cross. Died for us. Likatufia sisi. Died for us. Likatufia. And paid our price. So the devil can try anything. But this, this particular mystery. This particular mystery. It has defeated him totally. That's right. Amen. That's right. So husband and wife being one, second Adam, second Eve, being molded again. We are being molded. What is molding us? The message, the word, the revelation that we are receiving this evening time. And we will see it. Every stage of life we have had we have had a minister. Oh, we, had a, we have had a ministry. There was a ministry of Noah. There was a message. And those who, are, who agreed to the message, those who obeyed the message, there they went. There was the time of Moses. And all the way through, there was the time of Paul. There was all the way through, there was a preparation of the people. But the prophet is telling Lakina us, tuambia, and the Bible is telling us, in this end time, uh, this end time, mwishu, the message we are receiving is the fullness of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's read John chapter 12. <coughs> My time is really going. John chapter, uh, John chapter 12. Okay, they are taking their time. And there were certain Greeks among them. That came up to worship at the feast. Now, I want you to realize. They came to worship. They had a, anyway, let's read. The same came there for to Philip, which was of Beth, uh, Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we would see Jesus. Now, Amen. I want you to realize they came to worship him. Why? Because they already knew him. They had faith in what they had heard about him. Are we together? Amen. So they had heard him. Right? Amen. And the time of explaining the Christ was over. They had been taught about Christ. But this moment now, they came and said, We want to see Jesus. It is not a question of hearing about so Jesus. Jesus. Now it is time to see Jesus. Amen. They had gone through meetings. And the meetings. And the meetings. But now their desire was to see him. <laughs> That's right. I wonder how many such Greeks are here this morning. How, how, well, <laughs> We have such a Greeks this morning. And I have gone to meetings. Yet, I have gone to conventions. I have gone to church. Every, every Sunday, every Sunday. For a year goes forth. For 20 years. For 30 years. But now, I want to see Jesus in my life. It is not Amen. how much you have gone to church. It is not how much you have heard about the Lord Jesus Christ. It is not how much how much you have heard about the mysteries. But how much is Christ alive in my life? They were tired. They said we want to see Jesus. That's right. We want to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus in my life. 
That's right. Praise the Lord. As for one. 192. Now, these Greeks were not looking for a, for a lecturer. How are you nani hako natafuta muhadhiri? Is the prophet saying, not this lecturer who is saying that. Ninabia nasema si huyu lecturer. Now, these Greeks were looking for a lecturer. Well, how, Amen. I mean, we're not looking for a lecturer. How are you nani hako natafuta lecturer? On Jesus Christ. Why who says to Christ? No. No. They wasn't looking for a pulpit clones. Hako natafuta pulpit. Clowns, As eh? I said a few moments ago, they are not looking for that. They are not looking for entertainers. That's right. I've seen, I've been seeing some open air meetings. And you wonder, is this preaching the word or is it entertaining? People dancing and, and doing all things. What are they trying and to do? And some people come. Na hata wengine wamekula mikuka, wengine wamekula miraa, wanakuja wanakaa hapo. Kuwa entertained by these people. Also people come to be entertained. No. La. Not these Greeks. See how are you nani? Hawa walikuwa wamepata ya kutosha. These have gotten enough. Said no no now we want we don't want this, entertainment. Hatutaki utumbuizo sasa, matumbuizo. La. They wanted to see him. Walitaka kumwona yeye. The person Jesus Christ. Lem to Bwana Yesu Kristo. They no longer uh, they, they long to see him because they had heard of him and the faith comes in by hearing hearing the word and he is the word he is the word and they wanted to see Jesus the word manifested in their lives now they never said they wanted to hear him they already, they had already heard they wanted to see him that's right May the Lord help us. That wasn't the question. Hilo haiko, hilo we would like to hear Jesus. No. They, they, wanted, they wanted to see Jesus. Yesu. That was their purpose of inquiring was to see him. Kuuliza, ni and I want you to realize Stambueni. the prophet telling us Tambia here uh, uh, not to have they didn't want to have him explain. Today with, in, uh, with the great intellectual messages. And the friends, I'm not saying that those messages are bad. No, we La. are learning. We Tuna learn jifuza. those messages. Tuna jifuza hizo jumbe. All the time we hear the message, it is very important. Ni muhimu sana. And that's why we say a message. Right? Sahi. But these Greeks, Lakin, how are you now? they went beyond there. Wali they, ya went, they went beyond listening. Wali and they said, now Wama we sema. want it manifested in us. Sasa taka yetu. We can explain it to you. You can see the picture. Hadi wone yo picture. The messages we hear, when we speak, Speak about the word here. We preach the, the message. What time we have? Where we are going? But the most important thing is that these Greeks had heard about that. But now they wanted to see him. That's right. 198. Amen. Listen what the prophet says. But that. Hilo. That isn't what we are looking for tonight. Hilo siku wa leo. No, we can send one in seven. I read it again properly. Not to have him explain. Today, with leo, great intellectual message, we can explain it till you can see the picture. You see the picture. But now, on the 198, it says, Asema. but that isn't what we are looking for. Tonight. That is not what we are looking for this morning. What are we looking for? We are not looking for mechanics. We are looking for the dynamics. Are we together? Amen. We are not looking for the mechanics. We are not looking for the explanation of the message. No. We are looking for the dynamics. And we are going to dwell on that for a, show, uh, for, for a, for a few minutes. Amen. Amen. So, you see a vehicle. 199. That's it. So many. 
wengi. We've got the mechanics of religion uh, of religions. Wana mitambo ya of the Bible so uh, bottleized. Ya Biblia iko imefinyiliwa chini. It looks like a great big 16 or that uh, five coach train. Inaonekana kama train ya makochi 16 madhalathi. Sitting out there on the track. Iko imekaa kule kwenye reli. Sitting there on the track. It is not moving. Na haisongi. So the message goes forth. Ujumbe basi unaenenda. And the message is like an SGR. Now na ujumbe ni kama Tunapokea ujumbe. Tunasema amina. Tunaacha pale. Tunaenda tunatenda mengine tofauti. SGR. Kama treni. Haitembei. It is not moving. It is not moving. I song. Imesimama hapo. It is just stationary there. But if you haven't got any steam in that SGR. Lakini kama hiyo hiyo treni haina mvuke. It will not move. Haitasonga. It takes the dynamics. Inagaribu zile nguvu. It takes the steam. Inachukua ile mvuke. It takes it takes the power. Inagaribu nguvu. To perform the mechanics. Ili kutenda ile kuelekeza mitambo. I believe we have the mechanics. Naamini tuna mitambo tayari. We have believe the message. Tushamini na jumbe. Years, four years, five years, ten years, twenty years, forty years. Miaka kadha miaka nyingi. Are we together? Amen. And we believe the message. We have stood with the message. The prophet is telling us. It's an SGR. Until the dynamics come to move the mechanics. This is what we have been taught all these years. Is it the truth? Or is it not? Has it been explained? Imeelezwa. The message. Ule ujumbe. It has been explained. Umeelezwa kweli. We have read. Tumesoma. And it's good to read the message. Ndipo kusoma ujumbe. The prophet said read Nika the sema. message go to judge read the bible. Soma ujumbe nenda kanisani soma biblia. Worship the lord. Mabudu bwana. But much more. Lakini zaidi And I want to concentrate on that. Watu ni kazie pale. Much more. Zaidi. You have read the message. Sasa soma ujumbe. I go to church. Ndio kana sana. I know this. Nikatenda haya yote. Perfect. Good. Sawa kabisa. Sawa. The prophet is telling us. Nabi anatuambia. This this explanation. Ha maelezo. Has been done over and over and over. Yametendwa tena na tena na tena. Through different seminaries. Kupitia seminari tofauti. Through different churches. Na makanisa tofauti. Remember we have just read where the, where the prophet was saying that for thousand years now sasa is preparing the bride right sahih and here he is telling us that all these explanations have been given over and over part of the preparation of the bride through different seminaries and churches conversations weekend challenges and all meetings right sahih what is it and you we are looking to see who this person is we have heard about the lord jesus christ we have heard the, the christ the mystery but now we want to experience that in our lives now you say brother branham so let's let's go to two or three you see moses looks musa aliangalia One day he seen a pillar of fire. It attracted his attention. Right? Sahi. But you see after that baada hilo Moses went Musa alisonga to the teachings of his mother. Kwenye mafunzo mama yake. Oh, he said there in 204. This great theologian. Huko na theology mkuu Moses. Musa He had run with all his theological training. Alikuwa ameenenda na mafunzo yake yote ya theology. He's understanding by his mother. Na kuelewa kwa mama yake. Oh of the word itself. Husu neno lenyewe. He had been told the word. Alikuwa amefunzwa neno. Not only, not by even others but Ata. by his own mother. Na mama yake mwenyewe. He was a good uh, youth. Alikuwa mwanarika mzuri. Because he would go and sit with the mother to be told the message. It's a lesson for us. Especially the youth. 
you feel everything that the mother or the father is saying is inatufinyilia chini unaisi kichochote ambacho mama na baba wanasema kinakukazia tu but it is not true lakini si hivyo it is very necessary ni muhimu sana hilo that education is very necessary hiyo elimu ni muhimu sana so moses went through that education musa alipitia hiyo uh, training but even after he went through that education by the mother lakini hata baada kupitia elimu ya mama oh how that he was to deliver the children of israel kuhusu jinsi ya kukopa wana wa israel that was the education he got from the mother ni elimu aliyopata kutoka kwa mama yake but when he tried it in his own way lakini alipojaribu jinsi yake mwenyewe alianguka are we together friends Amen. I hope you are following uh, what we are trying Not to say. Fuata. And although his mother had thoroughly instructed him. Not to what to do. And what he should do. Na, na and what God has raised him to uh, raise him up for. Na kile Mungu alimkuza atende. He had been explained by the mother. Alielezewa na mama yake. 206. Amen. All his knowledge Marifa yake ha yote good as it is Mema leave you And it is good Na ni mema All that knowledge we have Marifa ha yote tuliona And it is good Na ni mema But yet Lakini hata yet to be set off Ili bidi azishwe Because those were just mechanics Maana yote ilikuwa mitambo hiyo Mechanics and what runs the automobile mitambo sio inaendesha gari unaona gari imesimama pale you see the vehicle stopping standing there iko iko na miguumbia they have new tires it has been it was even painted the other day hata lipa kwa rangi siku hizi just shining very nicely kila tu vizuri vizuri the seats are very good vitu viko comfortable the engine is perfect kila kitu sahihi kabisa even if there are some fuel hata kuna mafuta pale kuendesha it doesn't have the spark lakini haina ile spark it doesn't have the spark haina spark so unajaribu inakaa tu hapo it is just stay there <laughs> i saw something the other day in uh, in uh, in a social media a lady had a very nice car and the, the, and the, she was trying to to start it and it was just doing wee, 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 wee. and then she was called by somebody she was asked what is the problem this guy is just saying wee, 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 in so <laughs> because for her wee, is going wake yeye hiyo sauti ni kwenda lakini it is not going anywhere haliende popote it lacks the dynamics ilikosa zile nguvu it lacks the dynamics ilikosa zile nguvu amen so all this knowledge we have ha marifa yetu tulionayo is good as it is yalivyo and it is good na ni mema but yet it had to be set off lakini libidi yanzishwe that was only mechanics hiyo ilikuwa tu mipeke mechanics and what runs the automobile mitambo sio inaendesha gari the dynamics that run it ni zile nguvu ambazo zoelekeza gari oh to wait amen is wonderful ni ajabu the prophet is telling us here nabii anatuambia hapa the mechanics don't run the church mitambo haiendeshi kanisa Amen. The mechanics don't run the church. Ile mitambo haiendeshi kanisa. And that's why you hear problems Ibosa, in churches. Bosa, tunasikia shida makanisani. Because maana we are depending on mechanics. Tunategemea ile mitambo. Prophet is telling us here. Tuambia, mechanics don't run the church. Mitambo haielekezi kanisa. It's the dynamics. Ni zile nguvu. The Holy Ghost. Rota that tiki. gets into his work. Haigendane na lolaka. That is what makes the church. Ni ufanya kanisa. Amen. The genuineness of the church. Ule is when the mechanics are here. Kwa wakati nguvu ziko hapa. Uh friends I I wrote here the other day. Hapa, siku ingine. And I tried to rap. Nikajaribu kufuta. I think this is the right one. We are saying Tusema there are mechanics nguvu and all through the mitambo na kupitia kote. We get mechanics. Tupata ile mitambo. The prophet is telling us Nabia natuambia they are good ni nzuri you have the we have the knowledge of the word Tuna of god maarifa ya neno la mungu That's and right. that knowledge is good ha maarifa ni mazuri we have acts to that yet tuna matendo bila we have the knowledge of acts to that yet tunajua hiyo we go for baptism tunabatizwa we have the knowledge 
tunajua how we need to dress jinsi ya kuvaa how we need to behave na jinsi ya kujelekeza and we try and behave na tunajaribu tunajelekeza we behave well as believers tuko na tabia nzuri kama waaminio but the prophet is telling us nabii anatuambia ta hivi those mechanics are not enough ha mitambo haitoshi it is the dynamics Zile the holy ghost Rontakati. that gets into the, uh, into this world aingia ndani na rohili it's not the seminary teaching sio mafunzo ya seminary you are uh, you are the theology and the greek interpretation na theologia na tafsiri ya kidani but it is the dynamics of the holy ghost in there bali ni nguza roho mtakatifu pale ndani to get a fire to get to set a fire and to bring it to pass iweze kuiwasha na kuitimiza and to make it live just exactly what the promised word is for this hour na ifanye ishi hasa so tuna neno mahali lipo the fulfillment of the message of this hour utimilifu wa ne it has to be the mechanics it has to be the dynamics uongeze zile nguvu and what we get out there na matokeo yake we get life tupata uhai we get power tupata nguvu we get life tupata uhai Amen. So the life ule uhai the believer muumini a believer muumini to manifest adhirishe that 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 which was in the first Kile, adam kilichokuwa ndani ya adamu wa kwanza that which was in, the, in uh, which is in the second adam kilicho ndani ya adamu wa pili he had to have the mechanism awe and the dynamic na ongeze nguvu and what comes out of that na matoke yake ni nini we see the nature of god in that asili ya mungu ndani ya ndugu yule we see the nature of god in that sister tuna asili ya mungu ndani ya dada yule that's right that's what is, what we are saying ndio tunasema hilo it is not about the teaching sio kuhusu yale mafunzo pekee very good ni mazuri kweli it's not about and anyway, let, let me continue amen let me not explain a lot No, uh, to, to ten. not the mechanics so ile mitambo the dynamics zile nguvu it takes uh, 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 it takes the dynamics the uh, uh, the word it takes mechanics and dynamics ina garibu mitambo na nguvu the word and the spirit ni neno na roho they are one that gives life hizo ndizo zinapeana uhai so Basi. here we are talking about the word so ile neno and the spirit uongeze roho and gives life unapata uhai are we together amen so that's what we are we are talking about here tuende kusubiri hapo prophet is telling us here tuambia it is it is the word and the spirit ni neno la roho right to to 11 What God promised for the hour. Kila ambacho Mungu aliahidi wakati huu. Look for it to be fulfilled. Kitazamia kitimizwe. You must look to him. Lazima umwangalie yeye. He is the word. Maana yeye ndio hilo neno. And the, the only way you can look to the word na jia pekee kuangalia neno. When you look at him. Ni unapomwangalia yeye. Are we together? Amen. When you look at him, you are looking at the word. Unaangalia neno. Now the more you look at him unavyozidi kumwangalia the more you act on that word unavyozidi kwa hilo neno remember mechanics Uka. are very important mitambo ni muhimu sana because you Mana. cannot have a car unaweza kuwa na gari if you have a good battery iko na battery zuri all the spark plugs are good plugs zote ziko sawa if they do use spark plugs the others which don't use spark plugs na kuna zingine zitumie plugs and 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 the tires are good tires ziko sawa everything is good kila kitu sawa And, and 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 now na sasa that is very important hiyo ni muhimu sana you cannot have a car which doesn't have tires uwezi kuwa na gari ambalo lina tires uh, uh, a tank even to put fuel hata unaona mali pa kuweka mafuta and but you have a, a very nice battery which Lakini, has a lot of power battery ni nzuri tu ina nguvu nyingi it will not take you anywhere haitakupeleka popote it will not take you anywhere popote So the brother is telling us mechanics are very important but remember Lakin this has kubuka, been there for a very long time muda mrefu the process ule mchakato he has told us thousands and thousands of years ya he has been he, the mechanics have been being prepared mitambo imekuwa ikiandaliwa right sahi but at the end time message lakini katika ujumbe wa wakati wa mwisho there is a fulfillment of the promise kuna utimizo ile ahadi 
of the restoration of the bride. And for that to take place, hilo, the mechanics have to be right. And then the dynamics Kisha, come on them. Then you get the power. And that power makes the, makes the bride biarusi, and the bridegroom biarusi, have the same content. And therefore they become Basi one thing. So here we are talking about Adam. Basi ni kuhusu Adamu. Second Adam. Adamu apili. Second he. Na awa apili. Second he. Awa apili. This one is the one we are calling restored he. Uyu diyo tunasema amerejesho. Awa lirejesho. Restored he. Awa lirejesho. Restored if so you get this too then you see the nature of God. That's right. Are we together? Amen. You see the nature of God. So that's why we are talking about the restoration of that bride. That's why we are talking about the bride having proper mechanics. Are we together? Amen. Having proper mechanics. And that's why the prophet came and he started a ministry and the, the first ministry the first part of his ministry and he explained a number of things. There was a message about, about, about the hair. Honestly, that uh, uh, cutting your hair doesn't take you to heaven. But it's part of the process of getting to heaven. Sister, putting on a long dress will not take you to heaven. But it is part of the process. We are talking about mechanics. Just being a good man, good, a, a good husband, good wife, just being good in the house, house. just being good is not bad at all. But it's not enough. It is the mechanics. And when we talk about the dynamics, it is, it is, not, it is not about a community. Dynamics. It is an individual affair with God. It is not a community work. Mechanics is for all of us. We sit here. And Mwazi comes. He, he, he explains this. He explains this. And all of us understand it. Right? But it's not enough. The most important part is how you take that word individually and how that message, how that word becomes part of you displaying the nature of God as the word says. What the word says changed into a life of a person. Amen. Are we together? Amen. This is a community there. This is an, this is a, a, an individual there. Then God changes that brother. Are we together? Yes. Amen. Now, Sasa, two twelve. Look at him. He is the word. And the word promised for this day is to be fulfilled this day. Look here. Angalia hapa. The, me, the mechanics here we are talking about. We are not talking about the mechanics of, uh, of, 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 of Noah. Or you take the, 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 the word, the Bible, and you read so much about the time of Noah. And you, you obey everything about what Noah said. That is good. It's good. But it's not yours. It's not yours. Ours is there. So the prophet is telling us here. It is. It is uh, he is the word. <coughs> and the word promised for this day. 
No time could not be fulfilled this day. Wakati wa Nuhu haungetimiza wakati huu. It was only a time. Ilikuwa tu ni mfano. Moses time and so forth. Wakati wa Musa na kadhalika. But this is the day that God has promised. Lakini hii ndio siku ambapo Mungu ameahidi. Things that we are now enjoying. Mambo ambayo tunafurahia hivi sasa. These things that we are now seeing. Haya mambo ambayo tunaona hivi sasa. That the, the world is loving us. Mambo ambayo unachekelea. This great momentous power of the holy spirit hizi nguvu kuu za roho mtakatifu that can change a sinner's heart sasa badilisha moyo mwenye dhambi that can uh, can take a lukewarm church na kuchukua kanisa vuguvugu mshirika wa kanisa vuguvugu and give him a na impatia ushuhuda that will set the church afire utawasha kilo kanisa from uh, from where he come out of kutokana alikotoka is the dynamic that god God that got into the world. Amen. 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 So we are we are saying we come to church and listen to the word. We listen to the word. This word has to change us. And those are the dynamics. The spirit of God coming to you. Because once ah, no. we have fulfilled the word. Once we have fulfilled the word. Here, Are we together? Amen. Then the spirit of God. Remember somewhere how the prophet said that full of said the full obedience to the word of God. And I told you to the, to the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It entitles uh, a believer to the baptism of the Holy Ghost. So this is what we are saying. Full obedience. Full mechanics of the word in me Nani yangu. and i was me when the spirit of god Roma come in and when the spirit of god comes in Nakisha it dani. spikes out it spikes out in my, my life Mwisha. and the kind of character you see Na now you see the character of god in me. praise the lord amen As I have often said, I have found two classes of people. One of them is the fundamental. Positionally, he knows where he is in Christ. Fundamentals. Wakimsingi, watu wakimsingi. People who have complete mechanics. Watu wenye mikamo tabo kamilifu. They know their position in the Lord Jesus Christ. Wanajua nafasi yao ndani ya Bwana Yesu Kristo. Because of the word. Sababu ya neno but he doesn't have any faith in what he is doing bali hana imani yoyote katika anachotenda he hasn't received the holy spirit bado hajapokea roho mtakatifu so is complete with the mechanics akwa sahihi na mitambo akwa kamilifu but the spirit of god has, called, has not come to that believer roho wa mungu hajakuja ndani ya mumini yule he is a fundamental believer yeye ni muamini wa kimsingi are we together amen so the prophet says nabii anasema um Then I find the Pentecostal so 17. Nikapata Pentecostal. Men of them as receive the Holy Ghost. When God pokea Roma takatifu. But they don't know who they are. Wao kinajua wao ni kina nani? They don't know who they are. Hao jitabui wao ni akina. They don't know their time. Hao jui wakati wao. You know sometimes I have some Pentecostal friends. Ni na marafiki wa Pentecostal mimi. And sometimes we go out and we meet some people. Tunaenda tukutana watu. And we say we are going to pray for this person he is sick. Tutaambia mtu fulani ni mgonjwa. And they are on fire like this. They are on fire like this. But even some of the things that they are doing, they are out of order completely. They are not in line with the word. And then I look at them. Some of them are my relatives. I just respect them. Now I see but not continue there. Right? So then I find the Pentecostals. Na pato Pentecostals. Many of them have received the Holy Ghost. But they don't know who they are. Bali hawajitambui hawajui. There's like a man who has got money in the bank. Nika mtu mwenye pesa katika bank. But can can't write a check. Lakini haezi andika hundi. You have the money? Unazo pesa. But you cannot write a check. Uwezi andika ile check. They have the Holy Ghost. Kuna Roma Mtakatifu. But they don't know how to apply it. Lakini unajui jinsi ya kumtumikisha. Because the mechanics are wrong. Mitambo ni makosa. And the other one. Na ule mwingine. 
The fundamental one now. Yule wake msingi sasa. He can write a check. Anaandika hundi. And got no money in the bank. Lakini hana pesa kwenye benki. You know how to write? Kwenye you know how to write that? Check. You have check. a nice signature. Una but there is no money in the bank. Lakini una una pesa kwenye benki. Those two. How are we? The brother is telling us. Tabia ndio kuwahusu. If you could get those two together. Ungeleta hao ili pamoja. Praise the Lord. If you could get the Pentecostal. Ungeleta wa Pentecostal. To realize who he is. Watu mwenye ni nani? The time that we are living. Na wakati wanakoishi. To realize the message of Yahweh. Utume wakati huu. That's what the prophet is telling us. To realize the message of Yahweh. And they come back to the real full word of God. With that baptism of the Holy Ghost. It will set the world afire. And again with a new Pentecostal revival. Brother, sister. That is true. We believe that is true. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we are seeing Tuasema, mechanics and dynamics na nguvu, lead to power. Upata, they lead to, to life. Nguvu, the knowledge, the intellectual knowledge of the word of God without the spirit is not enough. But when the spirit comes in it's a new birth which is a restoration to the garden of Eden status hali of Adam and Eve before the fall. Na kabla kwa kwa. That's what we are saying. So, uh, when you look at that 221 we have the knowledge but the, that knowledge the spirit of god must come to, to crown that word Once we crown that word we can now say that person has a new birth right We can say that person is, is, is born again. When you are born again, then you get restored back to the, to the, to the state that was there in the garden of Eden before the fall. So we are talking about the stimulation of the revelation. So you receive the word and it stimulates you and when that, once you receive that revelation it brings a change in your life. That Change that has been brought by the spirit that is the one. Then it makes you a new a new a new creature. It makes it, it, it makes you a new creature. And we are saying the wife is restored back. The wife is restored back to the husband. Right? Let's read Romans 8:11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead Lakini kwa roho yeye aliyemfua Yesu katika wafu akanda nie He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you Yeye aliyemfua Kristo katika wafu ataiwisha na mili yenu iliyo katika hali ya kufa kwa roho wake anayekanda nie So if that spirit of the him that raised up Jesus from the dead in you he has raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you So The prophet the, the Bible here is telling about the quickening power. And the quickening power only acts on a properly laid down mechanism of the word. That is when the quickening power comes in. And it acts to confirm the full obedience to the full word in an individual. So that power, that quickening power only comes. It comes to confirm the full obedience to the full word in an individual you have you have you have you, you, you have shown full obedience so there is full mechanism and then the, the, the quickening power comes as a testimony that this individual has lived the word has lived the word that uh, uh, came to them as a mechanism now uh, 228 now notice tambua 
is the earnest or the potential. The quickening power of your resurrection. When you receive the Holy Spirit is then dwelling in you the potential of it. Notice uh, you are you uh, Notice you are now on your way. Let me read it first. Growing to the full resurrection. No, no tree just comes up overnight. It grows to grow as we grow in the grace and the knowledge of God. That's right. You are baptized into, uh, into the Holy Spirit. Now as the Pentecostal church baptized into the Holy Spirit, it begins growing. That's right. Limbs have died. They was pruning them off. But the tree is still growing. It's still going on. That's because right. it's got to come to resurrection. Amen. They, they are led by the Spirit to quicken the word to you who is a believer. The word keeps quickening as you come to first limb, second limb, third limb, on up. That's right. Do that three. It just keeps quickening the spirit of God keeps quickening to you. Now, notice Tambu. to that four. That Pentecost, Pentecost their bodies were quickened by the new life they lived. Remember the other Sunday we talked about uh, 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 the Pentecost. Pentecost. And that makes me feel religious. Now, here was men. He's talking about that Pentecost. Right? Here was men. Fishermen. Tax collectors. The humble little women. And, and, and just ordinary housewives. Little fighting girls. They were believers. They were believing that this was the truth. They believed that. Uh, when Jesus died, they believed on him and rose up again from the dead. They believed that to be absolutely a testimony of God. That he had quickened him to life. Now, but if that quickening power is there, you will recognize like that little ego. That little ego. That when mama passed on top. Mama lipo pita juyake. When Mama passed on top, Mama it was recognized. It was in the midst of the chicken. But then Mama passed. Kisha, Mama and yake. when Mama passed, it, that, 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 that ego led realized that, that that is Mama. Mama That's the word. Ninelo ilo. That's the that says the Lord. Ilo. That's what God promised. That was, was what was foretold. Now, that's exactly uh, what happened? We are beyond any shadow of doubt. Potentially, we are in the resurrection right now. The day is getting ready to be taken up in the air. Why? Because we were in a crowd. We are in. We were in a community. And the mama, the message of the hour. Flew by. And we were picked. And the prophet is telling us by getting into that message by getting into that message we have gotten into a resurrection we have, we have reached in a state of resurrection and the saints are getting ready to be taken up in the air why because of that message why because of the word that we have believed so Jesus so full of his quickening power says, if you destroy this temple, that took you 40 years, you thought, uh, you, you thought to build, I will raise it up in three days. Why? Why could Jesus say that? I want to ask you, why should Jesus say a thing like that? He knew that he was. He knew what he was. And now listen what he's telling us. I wish you could make that stick. 
He knew who he was. He knew that he knew that every word Every word that God has wrote in there of him, he had fulfilled it. He knew he had fulfilled every word. That's why he could say, You destroy this body. You destroy the uh, 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 you destroy this body. I'll raise it up in, in, in three days. Why? Because he knew he had fulfilled it. He knew he was the one David spoke of. Do you know you are the you are the ones the Bible speaks of? Do we know that the, we are the one the Bible is talking about? Do we know that we are the ones the message has come for? Do we know that the, the mother ego is fly, flying around? It's speaking us. It's speaking us. By that message, every moment is speaking us. Because until the mechanics arise, then we get to know who we are. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Do you know this word is just like every day living to you? Sure. It's yours. You are an ego. That's your food. This is our food. Praise the Lord. Amen. So Jesus knew who he was. Yes, He knew he was the word. And the believer knows the word. Leaves the word. Then the beginning power moves the word that is in that believer. Do we get it? Papata. See? The Lord Jesus Christ, yes, Christ. He spoke Alineno. because he knew Sababu. he was the one. And he knew whatever he said would be fulfilled because he was Sababu. the word. Alineno. And now, Sasa. the believer now Sasa. knows the word. Alineno. He has lived the word. Alineno. Right? Sahi. He has lived the word. And therefore, he has the confidence. He has the faith that whatever he speaks through the dynamics of that word, it will bring forth the power. Praise the Lord. So, the quickening power confirms the fullness of the word. So, uh, friends, what we are saying is that. The message we believe it is not just it's not just agreed. No. La. The, the message has got the power. But the power comes into being when the believer has, has lived the fullness of the mechanics. Has lived every word. You know. Sometimes we also have to create an atmosphere. An atmosphere for the for the manifestation of the word. Because you cannot tell me I'm a believer. And you spend the whole evening in the in a in a in a club. Because these days they have no clubs. But they have clubs. Some things they call lounge. I, I didn't know. I, you know, I, I, uh, somebody, somebody, I was to meet somebody, and he told me, come to a such a place, you will see such and such a lounge. <laughs> so I was wondering, what is that lounge? So when I went there, I found it was the, what we used to know as clubs. They have now changed to lounge anyway. But you spend a whole Saturday in the lounge watching Man U and uh, Arsenal and uh, you are surrounded by people who are drinking and you say, no, 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 me, I don't drink. I don't drink because I'm a believer. Do you think that, that atmosphere, do you think the dynamics, do you think the quickening power will come down there? Uh, 
the Lord help us. Bwana tusaidie. That there are certain things that we have to do. Kuna baadhi ya mambo itatubidi tutende. Even in our home. Hata katika boma zetu. Friends. Marafiki. Even in our home. Pale nyumbani. We have to create an atmosphere. Lazima tuunde mazingira. Sasa kama tunaitana tunaitana wajinga wewe ni mjinga sana. If you are calling it I don't know where you even you are. Ana sijui wewe ni nini ilifanya nikutane na wewe. And then I then then at the later stage I am a believer of the message. Baadaye mimi ni mumini wa ujumbe. Do we expect the quickening power? Tunatarajia kweli nguvu uishi. The Lord help us. Bwana tusaidie. We have to make sure the state of our mechanics is good. When the mechanics are good, even the car itself, even if you push it, find it moving well. You don't hear quick, 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 quick. Oh, oh, there's some, some, some parts are not the, uh, going on well. Ah. The point I'm saying point ni, The prophet is telling us about the quickening power. Nabii anatuambia kuhusu nguvu hii. And this quickening power. Na hizi nguvu hii is a confirmation of the fullness of the word. Idibitisha utimifu neno in the life of the a particular believer. Ndani ya maisha mumini fulani. As I said about the nuns. Sema kuhusu zile nguvu. Quickening power. Nguvu hii is not for a community. Sio kwa kijamii. It's personal. Ni za kibinafsi. It's individual. Ni mtu binafsi. It is the kind of life that Aina ya maisha ambayo unaishi. Remember sister. Kumbuka dada. Your husband is doing strange things. Umeona tena mambo ya kigeni. And instead of calling him names. Sabala kumbandika majina. You just look for time. Wewe tafuta tu wakati. You go somewhere in your closet. Uende katika chumba cha kisiri. And you pray. Umombe. You pray. Umombe. Because Sababu. that is what the mechanics talks about. Hiyo mitambo ina kuhusu. You pray. Unaomba. And you the dynamic comes Andi. down. Mitambo ina shuka. And your quickening power Na comes kuhuishi. down. Na shuka. And when that quickening power comes Na down. Kishuka. You start seeing a change in your life. Unaanza kuona badiliko katika And you the believer hey, you know why the change has come Ndio sababu ya badiliko You may say he has changed because he is broke No amebadilika maana hana pesa It's because <laughs> sababu the, the sister dada, in the closet there has been praying has been praying amekuwa kimombea It's not because he is sababu, broke hana pesa Prayer maombi You remember the message of last uh, last Sunday. Unakumbuka ujumbe wa prayer will change your house. Itabadilisha nyumba yako hiyo. If you see your children, ukiona watoto wako, are not are not are not in line with you. Hawajambatana na wewe. And you try to talk to them. Unajaribu kuongelesha. They they even want to throw hot uh, water on you. Hata karibu kupige. You are a believer. Wewe ni mwaminio bado. Mami you are a believer. Mama wewe ni mwaminio. Daddy you are a believer. Baba wewe ni mwaminio. Take it easy. Wewe usi, usi. Go out into the woods. Nenda kule kichaka. Go somewhere. Nenda mahali fulani. Take time. Chukua wakati. Talk to the Lord. Tena Bwana. Point this word. Elekeza ile neno. Say God. Sema Bwana. I am a believer of Mimi, this word. Mimi neno hili. I don't see anything between standing between me and you. Sio ni chochote baina yangu na wewe. God, I have a problem Nina here. Nina hata hivyo. I have a problem with my son. Nina shida na mwanao. I have a problem Nina. with my daughter. Na, I have a problem Nina. with my wife. Na mke wangu. Oh God. Hey Mungu. That's the believer. Huyo ni muumini. You pray today. You pray another time. You continue praying. Unazidi kuomba. And one time. Wakati mmoja. That change. Ilo badiliko litakuja. Those are the dynamics we are talking about. For the believer of the message of the hour. And the Lord will will help us. He will help us because that is the promise. You heard here. Ask it shall be given. Omba utapewa. Amen. 248 Let's 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 take another man. Tuchukue mtu mwingine. There was a man by the name of Enoch. Alikuwa na Enoch. Now he, he, he had walked every word of God. Alikuwa ametembea na Mungu 500 years. Karibu miaka 500. He had walked with his mechanics were fine. Alikuwa ametembea na mitambo yake ilikuwa sahihi. He had walked with the word of God for 
about 500 years. He had a testimony. And what was the testimony of, 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 uh, of, of Enoch? I haven't, I haven't one time failed his words. Brother, brother, we need that testimony. I have lived this word. The Bible talks about it talks about tithes. I bring my tithes. It talks about offerings. I bring my offerings. It talks about this. There is this. I do it. It's the word. I have lived that word. That was the testimony of Enoch. Now listen. So Enoch. He got. He, he got so full of the quickening power and because of he lived the word he got so full of the quickening power when the dynamics hit him when those dynamics hit, uh, 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 hit him on the mechanics which were in him he didn't, have, he didn't even have to die he didn't even have to die. He just took up and went home. And the friends, that's what we are saying. We leave the word. Regardless to circumstances. Remember what Pastor Mbale was, was telling us last Sunday. You have mountains and you have valleys. And those moments, the most important thing, it is the mechanics. Every time you keep on looking at that word, every moment you keep on looking at that word, that even if I'm down like this, oh God, I know you are living God. And I know you are with me. Even here where I am down, you are with me. And you get me out of here. You get to the, to the top of the mountain. And you are happy. You praise the Lord. You worship him. He, he appreciates the fact that you appreciate him. Praise the Lord. So. He had a testimony. That I have lived. So. He just started walking. He, he got so full of wicked power. Instead of going over to Gaza and going to another place where they were, uh, they found him up in the uh, upper court there. That's right. Instead of all that, he just went or said, "I am an old man, and now I just got so much quickening power." I will just walk right out of the earth. That's the same quickening power that we have right now. It will quicken your mortal body. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. He, he it's the quickening power. Enoch with that perfect testimony. That everything that God told me to do, I did. That was the testimony. Everything that God told me to do, I did. Everything that I can, uh, uh, that I, I seen, uh, He said for me to do, I done it. That's the, that was the testimony of Enoch. Friends, is that our testimony? That whatever God has told us. In the message, in the evening time, we have done it. We have lived with it. 255. And he became so full of dynamics. Oh, he became so, so full of mechanics. And you when the quickening power struck him, the mechanics, it just lifted him right up. He walked on out of the earth into heaven. So everything that God told me to do, so, I did. That is when our mechanics are right. Now, Sasa. for a few minutes, Omlo I want chas. to talk about the super church. Remember, we are talking about the, the bride being restored back to the husband. Omlo. Let's talk about the super church. The headstone. Romans 8, verse 9. Romans 8, verse 9. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. 
And they remember, na kubuke, we have said the Spirit never comes haji, when we have not lived and fulfilled the word. That Spirit never comes. Come haji. Okay? Sahi. So now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Yes, he wake hata. He is none of his. Yes, he wake hata. If the Spirit of God is not there, remember we are talking about second heart. Are we together? We are talking about second heart. So, if the second, if, if, if the Spirit of God, if the Spirit of Christ is not in you, then the Word is not in you. Right? John 6, 6, 63. Johanna it is the spirit that quickeneth. The raw is shy. The, the, the flesh profiteth nothing. The word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The raw and the so the words that we are receiving, the message that we are receiving, it is spirit and it is life. And Amen. Now, in, in, in church's book, the prophet is telling us this. Here is what I am trying to say to you. The law of reproduction is that each species brings forth after its own kind. Are we together? Even according to Genesis 1.11 and God said let the earth bring forth grass and the herb yielding seed um, and the fruit tree yielding uh, fruit after its kind whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. Now, the underline. Whatever life was in the seed came forth into a plant and it went all the way into the fruit. The very same law applies to the church today. Whatever seed started the church will come forth and be like the original seed because it is the same seed. Are we together? Yeah. The very seed that Ile was there in the beginning, it will go forth. Itakuwa. Remember the, the, the prophet has said it, it is going through a thousand years. And every time it was being watered and it was being it was growing. And he said Kaseba. that even some doctrines came and they pruned the tree. But the, the, the tree was still growing. Why? Because God was watering that tree. God has been watering the tree. Even when we were in the denomination, God was watering the tree. And that is the reason why when the message went forth, when the evening message went forth, you were there to receive it because the tree was still growing. Amen. Um, in these last days, the true bright church, which is Christ's seed, will come to the headstone. And she will be the super church, a super race, as she nears here. Remember the last time we talked about the capstone? We talked about the church edges. So, Bas, we are saying baseba. the seed that was planted there in the beginning Ile before the malibuazi. foundation of the world it has been growing kikua, all the way from the Old Testament when it came here it started growing through the church ages. Amen? Amen. And then outside the church ages that seed will go beyond the church age. Why? Because it cannot die because it is being pruned. Because at the, uh, uh, from the seventh angel's message, that, that seed is revived. That seed is revived. And that revival takes, takes the, the, 
takes that seat which is the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ, Christ outside the church age. So the character of the church age is no longer in the in the in the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ. Are we together? So now what is what is the, what is the prophet is telling us here? Now in these last days the true bride church that is Christ seed will come to the head stone. This is Christ the head stone. So it is coming in here. And what is he saying? Now, when it comes to the headstone, then you will become the super church, a super race, as she nears him, as we near the Lord Jesus Christ, as we come and get him here. Now, the prophet is telling, is, is talking about getting near him, because physically, we are still in the seventh church age. But spiritually, we are moving closer, closer to the headstone. And any moment, any moment, we, 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 we may find ourselves in there. This is an individual affair. Right down here, in the seventh church church, is a community affair. We are all in the seventh church church, denominations and everybody else and everybody else. But there are special people. There are special people. A chosen generation. And that chosen generation is being picked from here one by one. One Wana, have taken here. So even today in Hata, the church here, what first may be picked Wajibu from here huku, and thrown here, huko you become Unakuwa, a super church. Kuhu. You become, Unakuwa, you become a super church. You become part of Christ. So this process is taking place now. The message of Yahweh is now picking the believers from the church ages, throwing them to the edge to be part of Christ. Praise the Lord. And the friends, that is why we come to church. I keep on pointing out where we come to church. Because it's not a community affair. It is an individual affair. I come here because I want to continue listening. And one day, I'm going to hear a message. I'm going to hear a word. That is going to change a, a character that is already in me. And sometimes we don't even realize is that character. But there may be a character in me that God is not pleased with. And when the word goes forward, ah, then you realize now I know I know. And you go and work on it. And work on it. And as you continue working on it, the dynamics are descending on you. The quickening power is descending on you. What happens? Did you realize a big change in your life? So if your husband, your wife says, saying, hey, my husband these days is a very loving man. He's, he's a very loving man. I don't know what has happened to him. Yeah, it is here. It is here. He has crossed the bridge. <laughs> he has crossed the bridge. The 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 the, the, yeah, the capstone is on him. And now he is changed. The life of Christ. The life in him now is the same life as the one in Christ. Amen. So as super as she nears him. They in the bride will be so much like him that they even be in his very image. This is in order to be united with him. So it is the union that we are looking for. It is the restoration. This is where we came from. This, this was the Adam. And out of Adam, then uh, uh, Eve was taken out and when she take, uh, was taken out she fell. Now she's being returned. That's where Eve is being returned. <coughs> Amen. 
This is in order to be united with him. They will be the very manifestation of the word of the living God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Denominations cannot produce this because they have the wrong seed. They will produce their creeds and their dogmas mixed with the word. Mixed with the word. They take them this and that. Some of them are even reading the message. And they go to church and preach it. But then they don't recognize it. Right? So the, pro the prophet is telling us this mongrelizing is false a, a hybrid product. The hybrid product is not the original. Are we together? Yeah. So the first son, Adam, was the spoken seed word of God. He was the spoken seed word of God. He was given a bride to reproduce himself. That is why the bride was given to him to reproduce himself to produce another son of God. But she fell. She fell by because of hybridization. She caused him to die. So the second son, Jesus, also a spoken word of God, was given a bride like was, was Adam. But before he could marry her, she also had fallen. She, like Adam's wife, was put to the test. She, whether, uh, she, uh, whether she would believe the word of God and live, or doubt the word and die. She doubted, she left the word, she died. Now listen, that is a sad moment. But listen to 271. From a little groove of the true seed of the word, God will present Christ with a beloved bride. She is a virgin of his word. She has not mixed this word with another. She is a virgin because she knows no man made creeds or dogmas. By and through the members of the bride, will be fulfilled all that was promised of God to be made manifest in the Virgin. Are we together? Amen. That they are not mixing the word of God with another creed. They are living by that true word. That is the reason why she is a virgin. 273. The word of promise came to the Virgin Mary. But that word of promise was he himself to be made manifest. So God was made manifest. He himself acted at that time and fulfilled his own word of promise in the Virgin. It was an angel that had brought her the message. But the angel's message was the word of God. And it is there in Isaiah 9 6. He fulfilled at that time all that was written of him because she accepted the word. Are we together? Now, 276. The members of the virgin bride. Are we the members of the virgin bride? Praise the Lord. Yeah. We will love him. They will have his potentials. For he is their head. And all power belongs to him. He is their head. So the, the, the members of the virgin bride, which are being pulled from here, because they have refused to be adulterated by the creeds and dogmas here, here in the churches, they have come out. And why have they come out? Because they love the Lord Jesus Christ. And because they love him, they have his potentials. And what are the potentials? The mechanics. The mechanics of 
of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Jesus Christ. That is the word of the Lord Jesus Christ, Christ. Is in there. And every day siku, they are struggling. They are moving on. They are staying with that word. That's what the prophet is telling us here. They will have his potential. For he is their head. Every moment we are thinking about him. Every moment he is our, he is our guide. He is the one showing us the way. Next. So, they are subject to him. As members of our bodies. Are subject to our heads. So, the body is coming from here. Right? The body is coming here. So there will be a body. Here now we are talking about the judges. But there will be a head here. And there will be a body here. And the two are united. So this is the body. This is the body and this is the head. And the two become one. So when the two become one, so the believer, who is the one the prophet is referring to as the, as the members of the virgin bride, they make up the body here. The members of the virgin bride make up the body. And because of their love for the head, they become one thing. Right? And this is the restoration that we are talking about. If being restored back to where she fell from, praise the Lord. Verse 78. Notice the harmony of the father and the son. Jesus never did anything until it was first showed him by the father. John 5.19. You not read. This harmony is now to exist in between the groom and his bride. The harmony here. Remember the head was here. There was a bridge here. And the body was down here. And the, uh, in the body, there was a mixture of many things here. Doctrines and all that. But through election, through election, the, the virgin bride was pulled from here. And they are here now becoming the body of the, of the, of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that body and the head get united. They become one thing. And that's what the prophet is saying here. That that harmony which was there in the sun, the, the harmony which was there in the Adam, right? The harmony which was there in the second Adam, Right? Sahi. He says that harmony is now ex is to exist between the groom and the bride. Asaba, we are to he shows her his word of life. He shows her his word of life. She receives it. She never doubts it. That is what is taking place when the word of God is going forth. We receive that word. 281. So the bride has the mind of Christ. For she knows what he was done with the word. The bride has got the mind of the earth. Right? Because she knows, she understands what he was done with the word. She performs the command of the word in his name. For she has the thus says the Lord. Remember the prophet kept on preaching. And he would say thus says the Lord. It was a special message. It was a special message for the bride. Right? He would say thus says the Lord. It was a special message for the bride. Right? Two eighty two. Then the word is quickened by the Spirit and it comes to pass like a, like a seed that is planted and watered it comes to full harvest serving its 
his path, uh, serving his purpose. So those, those in the bride do only his will. Not one make them to do otherwise. Because they have the says the Lord. Or they keep still. Right? 284 underlines. He did not complete all his work. And therefore the bride is the one to complete the part that is not, com is not complete. Amen. Are we together? Sahi. So, in 288, before, before we go to 288, 287, the prophet talks about the evil spirited church full of iniquity. And then he continues and says, and if this is true, then it must also be true that the bride church will mature. You know, as the bride church is being pulled from the church ages, the prophet is saying there is a growth there is a growth. Even this body here, there is a growth which is going, uh, going forward. Alright? And it will get to a time and it matures. Listen. And our ripeness shall be an identification with our Lord by means of the word. And our head will come to our is the mystery of godliness. Which, is, which indeed is Christ. About and as the false church will be all cunning and diabolical power, made up of political force, physical force, and demons of darkness come against this true fine and all that. 291. Then as she nears her headstone, becoming life Akiwa wai, uh, becoming like him yeye, through the word neno, Jesus will come yes, that the bride and the groom may be Rusi, forever be united wangane, as one kama kitu and that is the reason and sababu, that is the reason why every time we are growing in the message ujume, the, we are, we, it, is the, it is the union that is taking place. There is a union that is taking place. And that union is at this time. In the message, the invisible union, the prophet uh, told us this. Jesus identified himself. What would they say when he identified himself, uh, himself away with such a person? When John came, and he, he, he came to the, uh, to the people. They called him a, a wild man. The church wasn't able to receive it. That is the pattern. Friends, that is the pattern. Neither will the church receive it today. But to the elected. Praise the Lord. To the elected who have been chosen right from, from, from down there. And all the way they have been, 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 been watered. And they have gone through to that one to the elected God is calling to the elected they know it calling the father's bride the one the last day church the elected lady of our Lord Jesus Christ the one if Jesus is the one next how many believe that? So, this lady is the word. Why? Because Jesus Christ is the word. And for, 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 for this lady and Christ to be united, then both of them must be the word. So, the fullness of the word has come to a believer so that he can be identified with Christ, the word. Praise the Lord. How many believe that? The congregation says, Alright. 
Then the bride is always part of the bridegroom. Basi biharusi kila wakati So the bride will not be a denomination. Basi biharusi hata kwa neema. The believer of this the true believer of this message. Mwaminio wa kweli wa uchumbe huu. I tell you. Nakwambia. Can never be part of a denomination. Has kwa sema the neema. The true church of the living God. Na Mungu aliye hai. Then whose foundation is this message? Ababu siki wao ni uchumbe huu. I can tell you. Nasawabia. We cannot be a denomination. Always call the neema. That's right. The believers church which have become denominations. It's because they went away from the message. They left the message. But if they stayed with the message, then they can never be a denomination. Amen. It will have to be the word. It will be the word. Manifested Ikidhirisho. to be the bride of Christ. He promised to do it. He said how he did. Never use it or loses this pattern. He always did it by that pattern. He done it every time by the pattern. He does it again. Calling out his virtuous bride in the last day. The lovely Rebecca waiting for her, uh, Isaac. What a beautiful time. I'm running out of time, so I have to jump. 300. Now, Sasa, your name jilalako. is in the new book. It is not in the book of life. But the lamb's book of life. What the lamb redeemed. Not the old book of your national union. But you are new. Because you are the bride. Your new life is in the Lamb's book of life. Your marriage certificates. There is a marriage certificates. Where you are true eternal jam. Where you are true eternal jam. From the beginning takes a hold. It is in the Lamb's book of life. Praise the Lord. Now, 306. The word that fell on the day of Pentecost. Pentecost will not work this day. No sir. That was what, that was for Pentecost. Pentecost. This word now is for the bride. Going home of the bride. So we got something different. The Pentecost was represented that again. We are in the bride head. No more than the word of Noah would work in the days of Moses. No more than the Moses law would, would have worked in the time of Paul. He tried to tell them you are dead to that and you cannot have it. So church you who I'm speaking to tonight he is speaking to us this morning across the nations If you have separated yourself from denomination, the, 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 the mother Iku came around and we have separated ourselves from the denominations. All the filthy things of the world and all those things that keep you in man-made creeds and orders and things like that, you have separated yourself. Look up. Get ready. Fire is going to fall. One of these days, God is going to uh, to let him come. And sight to behold. Would you be ready when you when he comes? How many will be ready when he comes? Would you be ready to go up with him? When he comes? The secret. The secret rapture of the supernatural bride is full of obedience to this word friends let us forget about small small things oh you know so and so, and, so, and, so and, and then it becomes a subject in the, in the church that's not our business that's not the business of the bride that is the business of the denomination ours is talking about the word every moment talking about it. and if you identify something which is not right in the church of the living God brother go and fast and pray 
prayer about that so that it is taken completely out so that it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't block when the one is flowing because we are never up there are we together yeah. praise the lord i would like the 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 um the choir brother dan the original life amen the original life why was seen as you stand let's read this this was a prayer let's stand as we listen to the prayer Chiskiza of the prophet amen do we love him Topena. friends i tell you this message is right one of us may not be living right with the word but i will tell you so long as you stay in the message so long as you stay in the message God is changing you every day God is doing something he is like a big mechanic he tightens that part he moves it he comes and applies another. He is, he is, he is, he is still, let's sing that one. He is still working on me to make me what I ought to be. It took him just a week to make the moon and the stars, the sun and the earth and Jupiter and Mars. How loving and patient he must be He is still working on me Do you believe that? It doesn't matter brother what you are going through It doesn't matter sister what kind of a husband you married to Don't worry Don't worry God knew you before the foundation He knew that you will get involved with this man And he has a way out for you And the way out is not against the word It is in the word Just pray over it Stay on your knees Talk to the Lord about it Brother Doesn't matter how your family is Maybe things have gone East, west like that Don't you worry Those children Who are born And God allowed In those germs Millions and millions and millions Or thousands and thousands of those germs And this boy came And this guy Okay. And now they are headaches to you. Don't have an headache. Don't. Just say, God, this is this, this is all your work. It happened. God was aware about it. And he has a reason why that is so. Maybe he wants you to stay on your knees and pray. Maybe he wants you to learn to stay closer to him. Whatever situation that we are going through. Whatever you are, what is happening. Let's take it to the Lord. Take it to the Lord. And he will help us. He has promised. He is still working on me. To make me what I ought to be. Let me read this prayer. Lord God. I'm asking the bride tonight. The ones that I that I feel has put away. And waiting. May they separate themselves from everything in the world. They must lay in the presence of the warm sunlight. Lazima kae katika nuru yenye nguvu ya sand SON. Bwana. SON light of the sun of God. Nuru ya Bwana wa Mungu. Bathing in his word. Wakiongelea katika neno lake. Bathing in his word. Wakiongelea katika neno lake. Tukiongelea. 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 You know, you know how how, how, how swimming is done. You go like this, you go up, you go like this. Unapanda unashuka jinsi hiyo. Bathing in Staying in his love. Grant it, dear God. 
That is our prayer of our, of our, of our prophets. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. God bless you so much. The original life. God's, ad God's attributes were manifested to this bride in this last day. We have caught the revelation by the last prophet's message. And we know who we are and what we're raised up for. Praise the Lord for the original life. Amen. The original life. The original seed. The original word is what I believe. The Son of Man is revealed. The seventh seal is unveiled. The original word is the original seed. And we are the one made flesh today. This is what the scripture says. And our names are seen within, redeemed and perfect with our sin. Yes, we are anointed and inspired by our God, who's the original life, amen, the original life. Oh, the original seed, the original word is what I believe for oh, the Son of Man is revealed the seventh seal is unveiled the original life oh is the original seed and our eyes of understanding he has opened up at last and the victory is ours watching down in the past True jubilee has sounded, and we have responded to our God, who's the original life. Send now the original life, amen, the original seed, the original word is what I believe, for the Son of Man is revealed. Seven seal is unveiled, the original life. Oh yes, the original seed. Amen. We are called unto adoption, full of authority and power. Sleeping saints will wake and join us for translation in this hour. Gentile days soon will be over. Glory, hallelujah to our God. Who's the original life? Oh, the original life. Amen. The original seed, the original word is what I believe. Now the Son of Man is revealed. The seventh seal is unveiled. The original life, the original seed. Original life, the original seed, the original word, Lord is what I believe. The Son of Man is revealed, the seventh seal is unveiled, the original word, the original seed. You believe in the original life? That is what we are being prepared for. Every moment we come to church, God is preparing us. He prepares a message with one sentence. And that one sentence is what you need. It's all you need in your life. He comes here and, he, and the minister talks many, 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 many things. But there is one thing he says like this. It is required by James somewhere there in the And that is what is happening. God preparing the bride. Amen. As, as we uh, let's sing another one. Uh, the old time power. No other. Love it. They were in the upper 
chamber. Amen. They were all with one accord. When the Holy Ghost descended, as was promised by our Lord. They were in the upper chamber. They were all with one accord. When the Holy Ghost descended, as was promised by our Lord, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, send the power just now. O oh Lord, send the power just now. O oh Lord, send the power just now. And dies everyone. Yes, this far from heaven descended with the sound of rushing wind. Tons of fire came down upon them as the Lord said he would send. So now, O oh Lord, send the power just now. O oh Lord, send the power just now. O oh Lord, send the power just now. And the skies, everyone. Yes, this old time power was given. To our fathers who are true, this is promised to believe us, and we all may have it too. Lord, oh Lord, send the power just now. Oh Lord, send the power just now. Oh Lord, send the power just now, and baptize everyone. Our prayer, oh Lord, send the power. Yes, I want that power in me. Sister, I know you want that power. The prayer that you have needs that power. The desires that you have, the desires of this world. No, I, I, I put this down. But I think when you are making slides, we did make it. But I want to read it. It's a scripture I love so much. It keeps me away from anything else. Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Friends, the Bible says there is therefore no condemnation to them that which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. There is no condemnation. You don't feel condemned. Because, you, you know, people, people of the world will say anything about you. People of the world will say so many things about you. How you are a failure in life. How you, you do things. But the Bible is telling us there is, there is therefore no condemnation to them which, have, which are in Christ Jesus. When we have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, there is no condemnation. Because Jesus Christ he is God. He is God. And being God is the creator of heavens and earth. And everything which is around here, if God knows that you need it, He will give it to you. Whatever is here on, the, on this world, all that is in heaven, and he thinks you need it here, he will give it to you. Amen. So there is no condemnation. There is no feeling, uh, feeling down or saying, oh, because I'm, I'm, I'm a message believer, then I cannot get this type of a job, or I cannot get this type of a business. No, forget about it. God doesn't want you to get it. God doesn't want you to get it. If he wants you to get it, you will get it. There is no condemnation. We are believers. We are believers. There is no condemnation. Let's sing, there is power in the blood. There is power in the blood. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you are here and you have never given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, to enjoy this enjoyment that the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ is enjoying, we welcome you, you come here, we pray for you, we go with you, we start the journey with you, and we continue praying with you. When we are getting the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you get the baptism of the Holy Ghost, we keep on going with you. And you will get in the head to part you to get you like Amen. Amen.
Would you be free from your burden of sin? There is power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you all evil a victory win? There is wonderful power in the blood. Amen. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. And would you be free? From your passion and pride, there's power in the blood. There is power in the blood. I'm for a cleansing to Calvary's time. There's wonderful power in the blood. Hallelujah! There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood. There is power in the blood, power in the blood, and sin stains the Lord in His life-giving glow. There is wonderful power in the blood, even there is power, power, wonder-working power. Service for Jesus, your King. There is power in the blood. There is power in the blood. And would you live daily His praises to sing? There is wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there is power, power, wonderful power. In the blood of the Lamb, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Once again, you have never given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. You want to accept the Lord Jesus Christ baptized in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and get into the journey of the believers. We are giving you this opportunity. We are seeing there is a fountain. There is a fountain filled with the blood. And as we sing this song, just meditate. Meditate upon that blood and the, the, the part that blood has played in our lives to, to pay the price, the big price. And that price, it, it is the one makes, which makes us not be condemned because we have been pulled we, we have come out. The devil has been told, give back. And he has given back. The elected, getting into the body, getting into the, to the head. The elected getting to the earth is because the devil has given up. The devil has given up on, on them. And he said, There's nothing I can do. Let's sing that song. And as we come to the end of that song, I will ask you, brother, to uh, come and lead us in a word of prayer. There is 
When this poor lisping, stammering tongue, when it lies silent in the grave, thou who died for us, O God, you'll take us through a closed Jordan. And we are grateful, Heavenly Master, for that great message of the restoration. And Heavenly Master, we pray, O oh God, that you may come down, Lord, and become that life in us. Because, Lord, the bride and the bridegroom has become one. This is the time of the great union where the bride and the husband of Father are being united. Not just united, United Lord, are united by the word, the living word that you sent to us this evening time. How we are grateful, Lord. How we thank you for the prophet, oh How we thank you for the blood. How we thank you for redemption. Jesus paid it all, all to him. Had left a crimson stain. He washed it white. Seems nothing good have I. Let's make it a prayer. Where thy grace to Thank you, Heavenly Master. 
you have spoken unto us this morning. And Lord Jesus Christ, as we get out of this building this morning, may our hearts, Lord, go burning, Lord. Lord, as you continue reminding us that we are the restored bride, back to Adam and Eve position, before the very fall, and he an heavenly master. That's the point, Lord, that we all desire to be. Where the word is flowing in our body, where the word is flowing in our veins, and we are living the word till the whole world will see nothing but Christ living in thy bride. That's the desire of each and every one of us. Just as weak as we are, that's the desire of us, O oh God. As strong as we purport to be, that's the desire of everyone. Of us, to be Lord, the great manifestation of the true sons and daughters of the living God. Grant us, Heavenly Master, thy grace. That as we continue to walk in this life's journey, we continue to grow in the word until we are perfected by thy word. For there is no else we can be perfected other than in thy word, heavenly master. How we are grateful for thy servant that you have used this morning. Lord Jesus Christ, in thy own special way, get down to him, Lord. Amen. Go and give him more revelation of thy word. Lord, that when he speaks next time, Lord, it is, it's, it's within thy will that we may draw from thee. Gracious Lord, may you bless him and his family, O Master. We also want to commit our precious pastor unto thee. Lord, gracious Lord, there is a great servant of thee. May you continue, Lord, to work in him, O God. To heal him, O Father. May you continue to give him more strength. How we are desirous to have him back here in his post of duty to speak the word Lord. Amen. Heavenly Master, may you bless him and his family. All the precious saints, O oh God, we desire thee, O oh God. May you come in a special way. Bless each and every one of us. Much more continue revealing thy servant to us as the greatest desire of our heart. May you be gracious unto us this morning. For we pray this breathing and trusting in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you happy this morning? Amen. Before you sit down, let's sing wonderful, wonderful Jesus is to me. Amen. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful Jesus is to me. He's my counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God in me. And he's saving me and keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my name. Let's, let's pray for this precious little girl that I've given her life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Master. Amen. As the word was going through, you touch this little girl's heart, O oh Master. No man can come to thee, Lord, unless thou drawest him unto thee, O God. You are the one, Lord, who has spoken unto her heart. And you have called her, O God, to thy service. Amen. And Lord Jesus Christ, as she goes now into baptism, Lord, be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In much more much water, O Father, for the remission of our sins. Heavenly Master, may you be the guide. And you guide her, Lord, into the entire truth and give him the baptism of the Holy Ghost, for you play this breathing and trust him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Wonderful Jesus is to me. Oh, my heart sings today, sings for joy and gladness. Jesus saves, satisfies, banishes my sadness. New this world, this is mine, this night to worry about. Jesus is wonderful and mighty to deliver. He's so wonderful, wonderful. Jesus is to me, is my counselor, Prince of Peace. Mighty God is he, and he is saving me and keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my redeemer, I praise his name. I was a slave, now I'm free, free from condemnation. 
Jesus gives liberty and the full salvation. Now the seeds of the plant have been all forgiven, and my name is inscribed on the book of Yes, it's so wonderful, wonderful. Jesus is sweet, he's my counselor, my prince of peace, my divine is he, saving me and keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my redeemer, praise his name. Now we are living here with my Lord in a holy Since my soul has received full and free salvation, yes, it's wonderful, wonderful. Jesus is my counselor, Prince of Peace, my divine Lord. He is saving me and keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my redeemer, praise. Let's take the announcements. We may be seated. And we want to begin with the needs, if there are any needs. So I will pray for the needs. Let's begin with any needs. I'm requesting for prayers for my sister, Jacinta, who was admitted at Coptic Hospital yesterday. The prayers of the righteous availed much. That is Sister Queen Esther. Amen. And we're going to pray for that need. Uh, any other need? No, we don't have any other need. Okay, so if you have a need, we would want to sing uh, the great physician now is here as we believe with our sister, precious Queen Esther. Let's keep the, our precious sister in prayer. Are you going to do that? Let's pray for that as uh, for our sister Jacinta, who is not Queen Esther, but Jacinta, who is in the, in the hospital. Okay, there's another one. I thank God for his grace and for delivering me from the gas explosion in Ebekasi, I escaped with a few breezes. I know God saved me for a reason. Please pray for me that I may find my purpose for living. That's our brother in Christ. And we all say, Amen. Amen. We thank God for delivering our precious brother. And uh, we look for many miracles. But it happens in a very small way in our lives. Most of the times, we fail to see it. Let's sing that song as we also give thanks to God for saving our precious brother's life. The great physician now is here the second song if you have a need may you stand Lord as we sing this song 
will flee. Sicknesses will flee. All our needs will be answered. There is no better name, Lord, than that name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we come in that precious name, praying, O oh God, that you may come, Lord, and deliver us, O oh Father. All our physical sicknesses, O oh God. All our spiritual sicknesses, O oh God. All our financial needs, O oh God. All the needs, Lord, that are in our hearts, O oh God. We come in that precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we know, Lord, that when we call on that name, you are going to hear us, Lord. You are going to answer the, to the needs of our hearts, O oh God. Heavenly Master, we want to bring our sister Jacinta into the able hands. Lord Jesus Christ, she's lying in Coptic Hospital. But Lord Jesus Christ, may you send thy word unto her, O oh God. May thy word, Lord, go before her, Lord. Touch her, Lord, and heal her, O God, for the glory and honor of thy holy name. And Lord Jesus Christ, we know one day, Lord, we'll come back and hear her great testimony that you already done it, O Master. We want to join hands, Lord, with our precious brother. You are the one who saved him, Lord, from that gas accident, O Father. Lord Jesus Christ, even the others, Lord, of our countrymen that you saved, O God. How grateful we are, Lord, to know, Lord Jesus Christ, that the guardian angel always is beside us. And Lord, he always protects us, O God. And many other times, Lord, that he protect, you protect us, O God, from many things. But Lord Jesus Christ, we give you all the glory and honor. May you continue, Lord Jesus Christ, to walk beside us, to walk hand in hand, O God. Lord Jesus Christ, and to always, Lord, save us, O God, from those things, O Father. We know the enemy is, Lord, enemy is not never happy, Lord, with us, O God, because we bear that precious name of Jesus Christ. But you know one thing, Lord, that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And you'll always take care of us. You'll always take care of thy bride. Heavenly Master, how we thank you, O Master. There are needs, Lord, that have been presented, Lord, before thee, O God, by thy children. Some of them are studying, O God, and they are lifting up their faith unto thee, O God. Praying, O Father, Lord, that you may touch them, O God, and meet each and every one of them to the point of their needs. Heavenly Master, how we pray that you may come down, Lord, and minister to the need of each and every one of them. Those of the others, O God, who are streaming, those who are seated, Lord, and, meet in, and they are making an altar call from where they are. Heavenly Master, may you come and touch each and every one of us and speak to us, O God, and heal all our needs, O Master. For we pray this, believing and trusting in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Let's get the announcements, if there are announcements. 
we are being reminded of this wedding of our precious uh, pilgrims, Sister Joy Wajiko and Derek Inyangala, which will happen on uh, Saturday, the 10th uh, February. I believe this is the last Sunday uh, for them. Uh, I think if they are here, I know they have stood before, but it's good that you stand again if you are here. Are they in? I'm not very sure. Uh, okay. Sorry to make you stand many times. That's our precious uh, Derek Inyangala and Sister Joy Wanjiko. With the blessings of our parents, Mrs. Rosemary Mudoni Moita and Engineer Sami Moita Gaduri, and Dr. Beatrice Moganda Inyangala and Dr. Ronald Mwende Inyangala, request the honor of the company of Capstone Faith Ministry to witness the celebration of our union on Saturday, the 10th February this year. That is this coming Saturday. And they are praying, kindly pray for us as we plan for our wedding. Are you going to do that? Amen. I think the wedding will be uh, streamed. So uh, the Lord bless you so much as you join the dear saints in this wedding. God bless you. Let's clap for them. Amen. Okay. We have thanksgiving. Dear saints, we don't have words enough to express our gratitude to you all for coming to our aid when mom passed on from this world. Please accept our thanks for the moral, financial, spiritual, and all other support that you extended to us. It all has gone a long way to make the burden much lighter for us. We are also very thankful for all who attended the funeral service. Your love was not only helpful to us, but was also such a great testimony to our relatives and the community. May God bless each and every one of you, and may he meet you, your, need, your every need, your fellow pilgrims, the couriers. We continue to pray for our uh, brother James Courier and the entire family uh, as they continue uh, in, this, in this journey. Will you do that? Amen. God bless you, precious saints. I sincerely want to express my gratitude for the overwhelming support you gave me during the demise of my beloved brother. You made the burden lighter. May our dear Lord bless you abundantly. And we all say, Amen. Special appreciation to our precious Pastor Obadiah, Brother Jack, and the deacons. Uh, that is from our sis precious sister, Sister Janet Mwangi. God bless you, church. God bless you, church. Amen. It's Brother Cheke uh, saying, God bless you, church. Friday was my birthday, and I would like to dedicate this year to the Lord. I would also covet your prayers for the Lord to grant me success as I wait results of my final year. What a great desire. Thank you, and God bless you. This is our brother, Chege. God bless you, church. We'd like to thank him for granting us his grace during our long travel out. Thank you as well for your prayers. Kindly receive heartfelt greetings from family and all that we met. Shalom. That's from our sister, uh, brother and sister Opere. And we all say amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap for giving them that grace and his mercy. Brother John Bogwa. I would request that you pray for our precious brother who had a birthday and you can pray for us the final prayer. Thank you. Uh, let us believe and pray. Our precious Heavenly Father, we come before you with thanksgiving in our hearts to say thank you for what you have done for us today. Our people came in the morning to have a desire to be spoken from above. We say thank you for speaking to me, and I believe that's the prayer of each one of us. Here there is a precious brother Chege who is rejoicing for giving him a 365 days of victory over and over again. He's dedicated himself for more desire in his heart.
to want to have victorious life as he journeys through his calendar. May you grant it unto him, Lord. And I believe you're already answering his prayers as he step this land of possession. May he possess all that you possess, uh, are arranged for him in his life. We thank you for each one of us. We thank you for this minister, minister who has spoken. We thank you for the saints here, the deacon board, the trusty board, our precious pastor, and all the offices in this church. Bless each one of them. Meet them at their point of need as we go back into the land where you have to fight battles. Even in those battles, you are standing with each one of us. Give us us victory. Let us stay in the under the SON, hearing from above, being encouraged by these words as we continue pressing this upward way. We thank you. We worship you. We say thank you for this wonderful service, consecrating ourselves to you, Father, in Jesus' name. We pray. And as we go home, may we love one another. May we love this wonderful love letter that you have given unto us, the bride of Christ. May we really enjoy as we continue listening to you, becoming more like you, uniting with you as we wait for your soon coming. The time is at hand. We thank you. We worship you in Jesus' name. We pray. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you. Uh, deacons and the trustees, you are reminded uh, of our meeting uh, with our precious pastor uh, immediately after the service. So uh, this is the first time we are meeting this hall, in this place, so watch out on the wall for the venue. Uh, uh, we, it will be communicated immediately after this. The Lord bless you so much. Have a blessed week. And as we go, let's sing uh, one song. Do you have a song? I care not today what the morrow may bring, if shadow or sunshine or rain. For the Lord I know ruleth over everything, and all of my worry is vain. I am living by faith in Jesus above. I am trusting, confiding in His great love. Amen. From all I've said, it is sheltering up. I am living by faith and feel no Tempest may blow and the storm clouds arise, obscuring the brightness of sky. I'm never alarmed at the overcast sky. The master looks on at the sky. For oh, we are living by faith in Jesus above. We are trusting. Confiding in His great love, even from all I've said, it shall turn For I'm living by faith and feel no love, and I know that He saved me. Will carry me through. No matter what he was time And why should I then care to the tempest may blow If Jesus walks close to my side For we are living by faith In Jesus alone Yes, we are trusting God Our troubles will then all be old. Then the master so gently will lead us away beyond that less heavenly shore. For we are living by faith yes, in Jesus above. We are trusting.
Drop it. 